Did you like it? <laughs> Did you like it? <laughs> Hello, everybody! Welcome back to Skyrim, to Skyrim Sunday. So, uh, that's the preview for my first original song. It's gonna still be a hot minute until it is done and ready to go. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a little bit. Oh shit, my tits are not. Thank you, Entangle. <laughs> Um, but I wanted to show you guys what I was working on. I've been doing a lot of recording projects. If you follow me on Twitter, um, you've probably seen that I'm involved in the VTuber Symphony Orchestra. Um, I sang for that, uh, and I'm doing a lot of coaching, um, for people that are in that and stuff like that. Um, so I've been really busy, but I'm finally gonna be able to get back on, um, my own stuff soon. So we'll have my original song coming out, which is gonna be really cool, and I'm hoping Thursday, first chapter of um, my fantasy novel is dropping on Wattpad and Inkit. So it is a story that takes place in my VTuber lore that also uses um, a lot of Skyrim characters that you are familiar with. And the first chapter actually centers on um, our lovely Vanya and one of her friends. So it's going to be really, really cool. There's lots of cool things coming along. Um, if you haven't seen um, my to-do list... <laughs> It's a little, it's a little, let me, let me, let me show you real quick here. We'll, we'll get the game screen on, but just real quick. If you haven't seen my to-do list, um, this is, <laughs> this is what we're working on. <laughs> There's a lot happening right now, <laughs> but I think it'll pay off. It'll be really cool. And, um, the book will also have illustrations. So here's a preview of one of those illustrations with a uh, baby Vanya. Uh, and I think it'll be really, really cool. I think you guys will like it a lot. But without further ado, let's get fucking cooking. It's time for Skyrim Sunday. I am very cozy, as many of you know, if you hadn't seen last week's Cyberpunk stream, <laughs> I'm still a little sick. Um, <coughs> that was not on cue. That was just very perfectly timed. Um, I don't know how long today's stream is going to be because, uh, like I said, I'm still sick. I've spent most of the past few days just in bed doing nothing. Um, so we're going to see how I feel. Hopefully, I've conserved enough energy. Um, but I took a bunch of time off work. And the thing is, is it's like I, I got to take off Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, which is really cool. When you work in a school, they're really, really, like, they're really strict about when you take off. I, I Yeah, I did try to bang Pan Am. Pan Am and I am installing mods. Ooh. <laughs> I am installing mods so I can bang Padam because I have a female character, but like, I need her, bro. I need her so bad. <laughs> so we are gonna come back to that on Wednesday. Let me make sure my desktop audio isn't too too loud. Um, but it looks like we'll be all good to start off our Skyrim Sunday. So I hope everyone is having a wonderful Sunday. I hope you're having a relaxing day. It was really rainy over here. It was um. It was really, like, wet and gross over here today. I think I'm going to have to turn my game volume down, but that's okay. I'll figure that. I'll figure that out. <laughs> but, yeah. So, last time on Skyrim Sunday, we've been doing a lot of false scar stuff. We had to investigate quite a few different things. Um, also, I did update Vanya's face sculpt a little bit. Um, I wanted to... She looked really harsh. Um, and I wanted her to look a little bit less so. So she's meant to have be like very serious and clear, but I wanted her to be a little bit more like just a little bit softer. And for some reason, uh, her face paint went away. So I'll figure out a way to put that back on uh, for now. But I have to take um, reference photos of her for the artist doing the art for um, our novel and everything. So I had to take a bunch of her stuff off, like her backpack and everything. So we'll put that back on. Um, new updates Tuesday or Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Ooh, interesting. Where is her fucking backpack, bro? Is she still wearing it? There's no way she's still wearing it. Oh, maybe. Oh, no, she is. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm dumb. So basically, we went, um, we had to go through, we had to make a choice of which chamber to go on. We still need to go, um, find, um, the Rengar's hammer, his father's hammer. Um, but the main quest of Falskar, uh, is we now have to, after finding, um, we had a choice between two different ruins. We did one that was, like, the ruins of knowledge or something like that. Let me look. Um, because I just don't remember. Um, yeah, we searched the, um, the key, we found the key of wisdom, which is something we needed. Um, because someone has stolen the heart of the gods. And I don't entirely remember what that is. Here we go. Um, Brother Thurlick said that this book contains the location of the chamber along with other information, um, on the heart of the gods. Oh. 
my game just like forced me to alt tab that was weird anyway <laughs> um but we need to find this book to get that location so we can find the heart of the gods um and get it back because i believe it was stolen in case i'm missing some important story beats i may not be 100 percent correct but before we get started very important crack open a fucking cold one and let's get started so we are gonna head out and i think we're just gonna do oh you okay you doing okay are you all good you seem fine are you all right I just misplaced it oh no fits up hose hell yeah <laughs> but yeah so hopefully my boners are okay we can have more boners now that was a very important thing from last time is we can now summon a bone altar wherever we want to we can have as many bone bone we can have as many boners the biggest hardest boners that our heart desires and uh lydia is here too i guess do we have i would like hey can you what what did we say about personal space what did what did we say okay thank you sans undertale <laughs> welcome in everybody no don't leave I, I swear i'm not no i am this weird that's a lie hi <laughs> So, uh, do I have any more skulls? Because I would like some more... Okay, we're out of skulls. So, I need to get more skulls. Um, ethically, of course. Ethically. Everything I do is, is very ethical. So, let's talk to Brother Thurlog on how to get to Vizma. Oh, he's in here. Oh, I'm a dumbass. Okay. I kind of just assumed we were going to have to leave. But... <laughs> but welcome in, gamers. Welcome in, boners. Make sure your gaming is gay and your boners are hard and we'll be ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> Boxy, thank you so much for the year. I'm sorry, I acted weird. I am weird and it will happen again. Exactly, you get it, but welcome it. So where is this guy? Wake up! I need oh. Oh my god, I'm so skinny. Did you see that? I'm just so skinny. I slipped through the scares. Oh my the scare the stairs. Sorry, I'm so skinny. Hello. Have you located the library yet? No, that's why I need to talk to you. What what why do you want to come with me, first of all? That's a red flag. By instead was used by the scholars as a library. However, in 147 of the Third Era, something awakened in the ruin. Uh-huh. All the Dwemer machinery came to life. Wake up! Killing most of the scholars. Well, Only welcome in, everyone. Hi, Nick. Hi, Jaikon. Hi, Zia. Most Hi, Stagwolf. Hi, everybody. Hi, JK. As far as we know, nobody has been inside Nobody has been inside. A tragedy, really. He sounds like Dark Shrek. Like, you know how it's like, it's like that meme where it's like, this is Shrek if he was just sick and twisted. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay. Uh, why, how do I get inside? That's what I want to know. Well, the actual entrance, where Yanavir escaped, is sealed. Mm. However, according to Nordic legend, you can access- I like this background music, by the way. The waist. I think Falskar has- next to it, Fuck. I think Falskar has its own music. <laughs> It Sorry if you heard me, Bert. That was very unladylike of me. Winter it will happen again. <laughs> <laughs> he he does kind of look like hot Cold. Shrek. Like human Shrek? Yeah, yeah you're right. Oh, I'm and sorry, Shoes. I will probably post the instrumental of the original song. It's there is an acapella preview as well. I did my first sure take of the first section the other day. I'll probably post it in the sub channels or sneak peeks or something. You haven't much time. And may sure guide your journey. Thank you. Okay. So, let's find this book. Um, are you good? I want to be a big, strong warrior, just like Olgar. Go to bed. Uh, <laughs> okay, thanks, kiddo. All right, let's head out. We're going to get this shit, and we're going to get started. So, there is still a lot of side quests I'd like to do, and I don't want to neglect those, because the side quests do look interesting. They do warm me heart. Um, what is closest? That's always my plan of attack, is I'm going to do whatever is closest first. So... We're gonna, it looks like there's Aspenfall Lodge, which is the signs of the hammer. I guess we'll do here, and then hammer, and then lighthouse, and then we'll just go kind of take it back. Also, side note, if you see my mouse start freaking the fuck out, it's because Jetmere, I think Jetmere fucked up my mouse a little bit. Love him. Um, but he spilled a cup of water on my desk, and thankfully, none of it got on, like, my PC or anything like that, but, um... It did get on my mouse, so if my mouse ever has a little <laughs> type of moment, um, it's all Jetmere's fault. It's not my fault, okay? So, love him, but he's a little, he's a little scrunkly, and that's okay. So, let's see, hmm, the moon looks very pretty. 
very pretty and edgy and red. I do eventually, something I want to do um, is I'd like to go back and see if I could buy some spells in Solitude. I want to eventually get to College of Winterhold. So I didn't know this when we were starting this playthrough. Also, hi, Cliff. I didn't know this when we were starting this playthrough. But I want Vanya to be our flagship, like, this is what we do everything on character. Because with her story, it makes sense, right? It makes sense for her to do everything. And the thing is, is there is a, um, there is, like, a meta way to do Legacy of the Dragonborn. And when I tried to do it last time, um, when I still streamed on YouTube, is I tried to, I tried to follow that list. Which is, you start at, um, what's it fucking called? You start at the College of Winterhold. And you go from there. And we clearly did not start from College of Winterhold. Even though this is a very magic-focused character, she said, Fuck that! I don't need to go to college! I'm gonna join a cult! Ah! Excuse me, I'm, I'm really sorry about that. Holy shit! Okay, um... God damn it! I have diseases again! Get the diseases off me! Thank you. My god, I was talking. Did you see that fireball? Oh my god! Who taught you that? I know, I know, like, I taught her that. Or she knows that because that's what it says in the thing. But it still fucks me up. Hi, Stevie. Cat kills mouse, but not that kind of mouse. Yeah, yeah, you get it. You get it. He's, he's a little slow, but he's got the spirit, you know? But yeah. What the fuck was I talking about? I was so rudely interrupted. But yeah, we are going to try to complete Legacy of the Dragonborn. I love this character so much. <laughs> and I'm really excited for you guys to read her story. Um, I know that it sounds... I don't... I know that I don't appear like the type of VTuber to be a writer. Um, and I've talked about this on stream before, but I'm really, really... I'm really, really excited for you guys to read my writing and to read about my OCs that I've been playing on stream for over a year now. Um, so I really hope you guys will read it and like it. It'll be, it, it'll be, it'll be fun. I'm excited. But I love, I love Vanya so much. And then also, um, every other character, um, with the exception of Layla, I don't have a place for Layla quite yet. She might make a brief appearance, but every character that I've played on Skyrim Sunday so far will also be making an appearance in my novel. Um, so we will get Rasha's lore. That? Um, we will get Severin's lore. We will get all kinds of lore. So there will be there will be lots and lots to, to see. And I think you guys will, will like it a lot. Um, if you are into fantasy novels and stuff like that. But yeah. Okay. Girl, are you going to go in? Get in there. What, what, wait, what, what, what was that? What did you see that? What, what did you do? Where did you learn all this? Oh my god. I mean, I'm not going to question it. Because, like, who am I to deny a girly... Like, who am I to deny her a girl boss moment? Wait, what? I'm not reading that. <laughs> I don't know. I was just like, damn. Okay. Alrighty. But, yeah. Alright. Let's grab this book, head out, and see what is up. So, uh, I'm not going to level up quite yet. I'm going to be kind of scummy. And I'm going to wait until I need it. Um, I am hoping, low-key, that when we go to... Next time we... Oh, shit. Lydia, you need to be careful about how you kill people. You almost showed your coochie while you were killing someone. This is a Christian stream. What? No! No! My boner! I think I accidentally killed him. I think I accidentally... <laughs> I think I accidentally got him with my frostbite. Well, at least we got his here. skull back. Um, but yeah, as you'll notice, I do I fucking nothing for damage. Because my damage... Um, the... What's it called? Um, the... The perk that I have for it is based off non-elemental damage. Because normally, with the perk trees, at least with um, this mod plus, um, they're based off of... Um, like elements, like you pick a special, 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 specialization. Yeah. All right, we're gonna heal Lydia because she's being a little silly. Um, here we go. Drink up, bestie. There you go. Um, but that's the thing is, it's like I didn't want to pick an elemental specialization because her whole thing is about using blood magic, and we're using blood-based spells. Um, because we did find the book. For, um, what is it? It is Lesser Blood Drain. So we're hoping... Right oh, hey, girly. Um, we're hoping that we can find Let's the book for then. regular blood drain and stuff like that without becoming a vampire. Are we eventually going to become a vampire? Probably. But I want to see how much we can do with blood magic without straight up becoming a vampire. 
listen, frostbit boner, it's that time of year. Happens to the best of us, you know? Sometimes you leave your dick out on a cold December eve, and then your dick fall off, you know? It, it's happened to all of us, you know? But anyway. Alright, let's see. What is the way to go? The book's over here. Yeah, so I guess we'll just cross this pathway over here. And see what's going on. But as you'll notice, though, I am mostly using conjuration magic. Um, I do want to use more destruction magic, but right now, my best strat is conjuration magic, because I do absolute um shit fuck for damage right now which is fine um actually let's take a look at the perks just for sillies um well yeah blah, 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 now let's um you can't see it i have 80 stamina compare that with my 240 magicka and 170 health i would like to stop being um i'd like her to have a little bit more pep in her step so we'll put some in stamina for now um so conjuration tree we're doing real good with conjuration so there's reek and so um this is the one with the skeleton mages um but the one thing yeah we have conjure altar uh hi yoya um the last one in that is puppet master which is basically just a big buffs for our skeletons um there is also um a thing where we can burn skeletons um which strengthens our other skeletons like sacrificing a skeleton to make all the other ones stronger but like I don't want to do that. What if it hurts their feelings? <laughs> I mean, I care. My character would not give a shit. Um, but I care. Summon and reanimate dead last three times as long. But yeah, that's what's going on in the conjuration tree. I'm not sure if I want to add anything to that right now. But if you look at destruction, um, yeah, so it's raw power. Destruction spells that do not deal fire, frost, or shock damage are 20% more powerful. That's what I'm going for. But part of me is thinking I should pick a subclass of one of these. And like you can go up to a hundred in in skyrim right now you know so like i don't know i feel like i should probably pick one um i for the character i feel like fire maybe would make the most sense i usually do fire or ice i don't ever really use sparks or anything like that um but i feel like i should pick one just so i stop doing shit fuck for damage um, but I also think restoration could be good too, since we are kind of buffing our followers. So we'll do restoration mastery for now. Oh, splendid. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> and we we'll might do more later, later, but I definitely want to find, uh, uh some somewhere? more spells. So I'm going to let them go in. No, go in! Do I need to, like, tickle his butthole real quick I so you know who to hit? Die. That one! I, I really do need to- No! God! <sighs> See, that's the thing, is I can't heal serious? my skeletons, I don't think. I let you right? do that. Duh. Duh. <laughs> the way he felt was really funny. I'm sorry. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, that's a skull. We can get another one now. But um, I don't think I can heal my skeletons like I can my normal followers, which is a little bit frustrating because um, I know that, like, I don't know. I always think of it like Pathfinder. Like, with Pathfinder, if you do, like, spells are, like, if you cast healing on something that's undead, it does damage, right? Or, like, negative healing. I always think of it like that. And that's not how it works in Skyrim, per se. Um, it's more like, I don't I don't have a method to that? heal them, right? But that's what I think of, I think. Um, I can damage that. Oh, shit. Go, my son! See, he's dying! He's dying! And I just have to sit here and watch! Come on! Come on! I hope you've got lots of coin in your pocket. No, I have no money! I'm just a little baby. I don't have any money. I have five thousand dollars. I don't have any money. <laughs> I'm just a little guy. <laughs> don't rob me. I'm just so silly. Okay. Um, I always love when caves open up like this. It always kind of fucks me up a little bit. Homies, are we here? I think I'll need to conjure more hot babes. Oh no, my hot babes are still doing doing good. Okay. All right. Let's head in over here. Hi. I haven't seen anything quite like that. Real. It is pretty cool looking. I agree, Lydia. Yeah, it like opens up into the sky. It's pretty cool. Hi. Oh, there you are. See? All right, there Come we go. On. Come in. Come in here. Now hit it. No, don't run away. Don't let my son die, Lydia. Go. 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 Oh, my God. I don't want you to. Shut up. Okay, anyway. Jesus Christ, why is Lydia just standing there? You were gonna just let my son die in front of you? That's fucked up. 
All right, well, I guess we have to go this way because the people shooting me are over here. So I guess we'll check this out. Yeah. yeah, I do like no damage because I don't have the, the perk things, which is a little bit annoying. There's part of me that's like, here, I'm just gonna walk a walk away. There's part of me that's like, do I give her like one-handed proficiency? So that way, oh shit, I have too much junk in my trunk. Um, but that way she'll have like a weapon that's not necessarily, you know what I mean? It's not, um, why am I holding a whole apple pie? I mean, good for her, but yeah, eat up a little bit. There we go. <laughs> when, the go when, when, when the going gets tough, just eat an entire pie. That's, that's my life advice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's head back over here because I think that's where we're actually supposed to go, but we'll go the long way. We took a little detour. That's okay. Happens. Yeah, there's like a little like cottage over there that I want to check out. <laughs> but we'll see. Ooh, can I can I just can I just hop, skip, jump? Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, I want to check out that little cottage. That's what I wanted to do. So let's see what's going on over there. Is there any... Yeah, the... Oh, oh, did you see that guy down there? <laughs> he, like, teleported. Okay, bro. But I want to see if there's any goodies in here. That's what I want to see. I want to definitely do... Yeah, I don't know. I need to... I do need to head back to Skyrim soon, though, because, like I said, I do have too much junk in we my got a line Oh, shit, here. hello. Yeah, get in there. There we go, Lydia. Yes. <sighs> Okay, there we go. Um, can you get him? Come on. I'm gonna, yeah, you guys do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scout ahead. Okay. So it looks like there's some big chests over there. Uh, as we all know, oh, there's another big chest over there. As we all know, I'm a big fan of big chests. Uh, so very eager to see what's going on over there. Um, let's see if there's any good loot in here. Cause I feel like that's mostly what I'm gonna find in here is loot. God, I have too many bones again. Okay, I don't need to carry this many bones. How many skulls do I have? Because, really, I can carry as many, like, things in the world. But if I don't have... Oh, I have seven skulls. Okay, so let's drop... I do not need 14 hands. Let's drop, like, four of those. Yeah. And then... I don't think we need to go over, like, ten in anything, really. Um... Hmm... I like hoarding bones. Why do I have firewood? I think I grabbed that on accident. We can we can drop that. We don't need that. Yeah, there we go. That I think what it was is I think I got it in um in the safe house. And it used to be you needed firewood to power the fireplace and um you don't need it anymore. Which is like cool and all, but I still like grabbed all the firewood. Where are oh my god, hello. Slow down, slow your roll, Bucko. Hey, I'll keep him in place, y'all do your thing. Ugh. Okay, no, don't fall down the cliff. If you fall down, I can't loot your dead body. All right, I think we're good on bones for now. No more no more bone stealing, unless it's skulls. Those are a hot commodity, as we've seen. Skulls are hard to find. Um, I do want to start doing enchanting more, because I feel like I don't have, like, a soul trap. Do I have soul trap? Let me see. No, I still split, but I don't have soul trap, so... We'll hold off on that for now, but I think I do want to get um, the Soul Trap spell eventually. Just because I feel like I could do... I feel like I could do some good with Conjuration. Especially, I really like Vanya's starting outfit. Yes, I know people are dying right now, but we need to look at her outfit right now because I said so. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I want to enchant her clothes because I feel like her starting outfit's really, really cute. And I honestly haven't found anything that makes me want to change it quite yet. Because, like... I don't know, I feel like there's a lot of cool armor in base Skyrim, but like there's not a lot of cool mage robes, you know what I mean? And like I don't want something that's like, I feel like this is a good balance of what I want, right? It's not super sexy, like obnoxiously sexy, but I don't look like an 82 year old man, right? It's, it's stylish, you know, it's cute, you know, it doesn't, it's a nice balance, okay? Cause like, don't get me wrong, Lydia, I love you, but you're a little bit of a thought and that's okay, you know? We respect, why is he on fire? What did you do? Yeah, go away. Are you okay? You've been like, you look like you need like an Advil or some shit. Okay, he's fine, he's fine. Um, <clears throat> but that's the thing, is like, I don't know. I just like, I, some of the slutty armor I've disabled because I like the regular armor more. Um, but some of it, like, don't get me wrong. You know, we love thoughts in this house. <laughs> 
But sometimes I want to be, I don't want to be like a mega thought. I just want to be like a little thought. You know what I mean? Like, lo love you, Lydia. Love you. But you kind of have your whole coochie out when you do your kill move. You know? So, like, that's that's not for me. <laughs> Hi, Selfer. Welcome in, Gamer. Um, listen, Lydia, she's got eyes everywhere. Like, literally everywhere. Like, See, that's the thing, is like this one, it's not super sexy, but it gets the job done, right? It's a little sexy. She has like a, a crop top moment, you know, but she's not, she doesn't have her pussy. Don't hurt my son! Oh my god, I have to body block for my son. Are you okay, honey? Are you okay? Hang in there, buddy. I will get you like a Tylenol or some shit, and you'll be okay. Hi, my boss! <laughs> Ain't that the truth, brother? All right, let me, um, thank you, Lydia. All right, I'll drink to that. <clears throat> see, that's the thing. Let me grab this dead body so we can talk more about style, right? Like, okay, here, hold on. I need to see your whole body so we can analyze your outfit. We need to talk about your outfit. Ma'am, ma'am, who are you wearing? <laughs> ma'am, who are you wearing? Come here, come here. I'm trying to, okay, anyway. See, look, 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 right? Oh, fuck, no, I didn't mean to do that. Shit, okay, here, put, put that back on. <laughs> here, what, what did I grab from you? What did I steal? It was cute. It was cute. Did I need it, though? I don't think I needed it. Yeah, it was this one. It was this one, right? I, I have that already. Here, you take that. Right, put that back on. Okay, I guess not. Well, anyway, she had a very nice outfit, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, that's, that's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> and now I have too much junk in my trunk again. God damn it. Um, let me see. I'm dropping anything that I already have in the museum. So, by the way, if you are new here and you haven't seen me do this talk about Legacy, we are running Legacy of the Dragonborn. Um, if it has a little check mark, see the little, like, um, like the little, this thing right here? If it has a little hand on it, that means I have it in my inventory and I haven't submitted it to the museum, but I have it. If it has a little check mark, that means it's been submitted to the museum. Free display and I don't need another one. So, we'll drop. No, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to get rid of it. Get rid of it. Okay, there we go. Oh, Supernova, thank you so much for the 13 months, Gamer. You have 13 PlayStation 2s. Oh, thank you, Gamer. I'm so glad you're here. Have good games. Thank you. You also have good games. I appreciate you, and thank you so much for your support, Gamer. I hope you've been doing okay. All right, let's see. Is there anything else I can drop? Um, Why do I have two amulets of RK? I mean, I guess I'll wear it, because, like... Everyone could use some more some more health, you know, especially Vanya who's like Made out of literal tissue paper. Um, I don't need these. I Need that to submit to the museum. Yeah, we're gonna have to we are going to have to do the boat ride back to Skyrim soon Because there's just uh, why do I have two pairs of underwear? I don't need all that. We don't need two pairs of underwear. I think we're I think we're good on that front, honestly. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so after we finish this quest, I think we'll take the boat ride back to Skyrim and dump our junk off um, for the museum. Ooh, a dead body. Okay. Uh, let's see. Anything cool on these dead bodies? I love money, so I'll take that. And I love bone meal, so I'll take that. Uh, let's head upstairs. Doo -doo -doo. Let's see what's going on. See if there's anything else over here. Um, I do want to see if we can find, like... I don't know. We've been here before. I think we're going backwards, actually. So let me... Yeah, we're going backwards now. I'm I'm a big, dumb, stinky idiot. Hold on. Let's go this way. That's right. Retreat of the book is over here. Okay. Like I said, I'm a big, dumb, stinky idiot. There's more loot... No, we went here already. <laughs> I've already looted here already. Um, I just got distracted, but that's okay. I have ADHD. I haven't taken my meds in three days. Um, don't be like me. What does this do? Did that do anything? Did I open this? What's down there? Um, I kind of want to go down there because there's a chest. And as I said before, I'm a big fan of big chests. But, um... Let me just, uh... Oh, I don't need the iron helmet. Oh, shit! Okay, hold on. Can you hoist me up, Mr. Trapdoor? Just hoist? No? Okay, alright, that's fine. That's fine. I was I was hoping I could get it to close and it would, like, yoink me out. There we go. Yeah, close. Can, can I... Oh my god, I'm like, whoa, 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 okay, get out, oh my god, okay, drop the iron helmet, we don't need it, can I, can I get that in? okay, no, I don't mean, I didn't mean, I, oh. okay, I don't know if you saw that, but if you did, no, you didn't, okay, drop that, I don't know how I took damage, whatever, can we close that, no, okay, fantastic, <laughs> get, what, where did you come 
that already. from? Why are you a boss? You're like 10 I years old. Bonk him. Here, I'll slow him in place. You ladies handle it. Thank you, Lydia. Oh my God, thank you, bestie. All right, gold, sword. Oh God, okay. Um, I'm not good at inventory management. We talked about this before. But I am not good at inventory management. Um, let's see. I, I, every time I open up my fucking inventory, I feel like that one tweet where it's like, please help me budget for my family. <laughs> and the guy spends like $3,000 on candles. It's like, please help me manage my inventory. And I have 60 pounds in just bones. But like the bones have an important use. So why do I have gold ingots? I don't need that. I really don't. Um, let's see. Iron ingot. I'm. Well, no, actually, no. I do need the gold ingot to make my replicas. Mm, this is hard. Um, hi, Bumble. I am a stinky RPT quarter. I have played Baldur's Gate. I used to stream it, but I found that it was a game where like I enjoyed playing it by myself more than streaming it. Like that's the thing as a streamer. There are some games where like I like streaming them, but I don't like. I don't like playing them off stream. Whereas there's some games where I like playing them, but I don't like streaming them. You know? I don't need an urn. Oh no, that's a quest item. Great. Okay. Um I think I actually need these wolf pelts. Um, because I need leather for a museum display for the replicas. Because you have to craft all the replicas. What else can I get rid of? I'm not getting rid of the skulls, but maybe I don't need nine hip bones. Maybe I can spare like some of those, okay? Like that. I'm sure we can, let's go to seven. Seven's our magic number now. We'll have seven of each bone, okay? I think, and then I'll I'll be fine, okay? I'll be fine, all right? But hey, if you like hoarding, if you're disgusting like me, ah! Can you chill? Oh my God! Daddy, chill, holy shit. Get her! So just stand there. She set me on fucking lightning. Don't get her. Are you serious? Yeah, I am. Okay, you guys handle that. I'm looking in the big chest. Absolutely screw you guys. Oh my god, and now you do it. <laughs> okay. Alright, we don't need the ten left legs. Let's go to three. Okay, you know what? I don't need. 19 pounds of crab meat. I do want to keep the skooma. Here, let me just give myself food poisoning real quick to get rid of all this. I don't want to just drop it and let it go to waste, you know. Salmonella? I don't know her. Okay, there we go. Yummy. Okay, we still have 14 more pounds to go. <laughs> okay, am I carrying anything? Yeah, I don't need just clothes. I don't need that. Um, I do want my fancy girly pop nails. Those are important to me. This is a museum display. Uh, this is a museum display. We really should have gone and dropped off our shit before we did this. I'm so fucking dumb. Um, let's see. You don't need 19 pounds of crappy and you stay here from barely. Bro, can, okay. Literally, I felt like such an imposter the first time I had crab meat. We thought I was allergic to like raw crab for the longest time. And I live in Maryland, right? I'm from Baltimore. So being from Baltimore and not being able to eat crab is like... Do you even go here? <laughs> but thankfully I grew out of it. So now I don't seem like a poser in my own state. <laughs> I love a good crab dip though. Oh my God. Like if I could make, can I make crab dip in Skyrim? Cause I would fuck that up. Okay. What are some displays that we're not gonna, like we know we're gonna find more of. Like, I want to disenchant this, but like I don't need it. You know what I mean? And like the iron war hammer, I know we'll find another iron war hammer. So we'll drop that for now. I'm sure we'll, oh my God, please stop being alive. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> that was so overwhelming. And for what? Like, why was she so, she was so rude. Like, I know she was trying to kill me, but she was very rude. And I didn't, I was not a fan, like point blank. Like, if you're gonna be. Anyway, if you're gonna be rude to me, at least clean your fucking room. Like, Jesus Christ. This is disgusting, lady. Get it the fuck together. You look like an alcoholic. Okay, anyway. God, my brain is so rotted. I was about to be like, well, there's no, and not that there's anything wrong with it. Yeah, yes, the fuck there is. <laughs> I don't know why, but that was like the first thing that came into my mind. Like, well, you know, it's okay if you're an alcoholic. We all have our, like, if you're an alcoholic, I hope you're having a good day today. 
<laughs> and I hope you're working on bettering yourself, but <laughs> for legal reasons, EB Games does not condone alcoholism <laughs> or drug use or um, any of the other fucked up shit I do slash say in Skyrim, okay? It's all it's all for sillies. It's all for fun. Ooh, poison. Okay. Uh, lame. <laughs> you know what? Fair enough. I'm sorry I can't. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry I can't be like um. I'm not gonna make that joke. Never mind. <laughs> sorry I can't be like other cool streamers and uh, do sleeping pills on stream or whatever. That'd be that'd be crazy. <laughs> if you know, you know. Okay. Where's the um? Where's the book? Let's head down here. Um, can I just, can I just jump? No, I'm not gonna jump, because then I'm gonna die, and then I'm gonna be upset about it, and I don't feel like being upset at the good hour of 7.13 p.m. Uh, I do contone having fat tits. Please have fat tits, and shove them in my face. Thank you. Again, that was a joke. Um, parasocial relationships are bad, but in game, I love fat tits. <laughs> I love boobies. <laughs> I need to stop. Okay. Um, this is the part where I'm like, I don't know where the fuck to go. So, do we have to go down into this? Like, is there another passage I'm missing? Because it says down. So, I'm like, am I missing something from in here? Doesn't look like it. Like, that was my thought. Is there, like, an underground thing? And I pressed this lever earlier, but what? She was, like, over-encumbered for a second. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, I pressed this lever and then nothing happened. Yeah, there's the, the trap door. There's a journal in the hut, right? You tell me I gotta read. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, I probably should check that out. Um, hmm, it could give me a hint. It's her big honkers weighing her down. Amen to that. I mean, we'll check the journal again because I don't think I grabbed the one in here. Let's read. Search is going well so far. We found a large open cavern and are currently staying in it. It has the start of what appear to be Nordic runes, which means we must be close. It even has some kind of wall with an ancient language scrawled into it. Uh, Yavarn says it's the language of the dragons. I've decided to stop the groove and stock uh, up on supplies before continuing in. If the tales of this place are right, we're entering a deep catacomb uh, that we could get stuck in for days. We're almost ready. So, okay, that's probably where we need to go is the deep catacomb. <laughs> um, we're almost ready to move further, but we've hit a problem. A group of particularly nasty spiders has made the caves ahead their home. They've already taken one of my men, sent up to scout ahead, and they built a strong wall of web, and we cannot get through without dealing with them first. Da 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 da. Is that it? Okay, get more supplies. This better be worth it. Well, it's not, because I'm here, and I'm here to ruin your day. Let's actually look over this way, because I don't think we went over here, actually. Unless we did, and I'm misremembering. But I don't remember looking through this big, like, tower thing oh yeah we haven't been here because there's a guy there that i haven't murdered in cold blood yet okay hi there we go see i let all the ladies do the work and i just sit back relax enjoy the fruits of my labor perfect all right anything God, he also has an iron war hammer i'm sure we have iron war hammer at home it'll be fine <laughs> like i know i'm gonna i know i'm gonna find a shit ton of them but, like, I want them now. I want to put them in the museum. I just want to put my grubby little hands on everything, okay? That's, <laughs> that's all I want. Uh, ooh, ring. Okay, nothing. Anything else in here? Anything good? Any money? Money? Uh, money? Uh, oh. Ah! Oh, okay. Oh, you're just my friend. <laughs> I thought it was, like, a not friend skeleton. Oh, oh, oh! I uh, anyway that didn't happen. That wasn't real. That was a figment of your imagination, just like how I am. A uh, combat role. Okay. Let's actually look over here and see if I think this is where we're supposed to go. There we go. I've never explored this cave before and I'm bad at cave diving in general. I have a really shitty sense of direction. Um and this is a quest that I've not done before ever. So it's it's going to be rough. That's all I'm saying. It's it's going to be very rough. So bear with me as I make a lot of stupid, avoidable mistakes. <laughs> so we'll let them handle the scooters. Uh, we don't need any venom. I think we're okay. Hi, Blizz! If you can find a forge in a safe container, uh, you could stash your museum displays. Yeah, I need to, um, 
I don't know if we have that in False Scar because I have the, I don't think if I remember to, like I literally said I was gonna do it last stream, but then I forgot because I'm, you know, myself. Um, I don't think I've triggered the um, the museum like drop boxes yet, um, but I don't know if they have them in False Scar, if they have the drop boxes there. It would be fantastic if they did, but I'm not quite sure if they do. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh. Th thank you, Kill Cam. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, there's a ton of spiders in here. At least they're like little babies. Oh shoot, he poisoned me. No, don't! You're a mage, baby boy! You can't run over like that! You're a mage! You're you're not built for that! Oh, get off my son! Get off my boy! Oh no! Please don't die! We already had a skelly die today! I don't want more skellies to die! Please! Oh gosh, okay. Yeah, get him, buddy! Here, I will tank with my oh, with my 140 max health. Yeah, Lydia, there you go. Get in there, bestie. Do you have any death wish? Perfect. Okay. All right. Let's head over here and get rid of that and charge forward. And then also quick save because I make smart decisions. All right. I can't believe he's all alone. Like, are you okay? Like, a lot has happened, like, just now. Do you need to talk about anything? Your brother just died. And that was really sad and fucked up for all of us. I I'm here for you, so let me know if you need anything. <laughs> I feel bad for him, like, there's no more boner army, it's just him right now. But we'll, we'll summon more boners, no worries. We I promise you we'll get more boners. I promise, okay? Once it hits nightfall, we have the materials, we can get more boners. We totally can. We get this book, then we go home. Uh, is that garlic? I love me some garlic. Hell yeah! Okay, there we go. What's in the box? Um, here, my boobs are in the way. Hold up. Um, army of one. Oh, poor baby. I just, listen, you might be thinking, Evie, you are way too attached to these conjured skeleton hell spawn you've created. And the answer is yes. I love them very much. They're my kids, okay? I always thought I never wanted to have any children, that I was too irresponsible for that thing. But they... Oh, where the fuck are you? Get over here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! I'm trying to use you for internet cloud! But then once he came into my life, I, you know, my mind was changed. And I, I really do love my son. Alright, get over here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know how they say, um, if you can think of an alternate universe, it exists? You know? I feel like there is an alternate universe out there. And I've talked about this before, how I thought about doing tons of different types of content creation. Like, I wanted to be a, a beauty guru at one point in time. There's an alternate universe out there where mom vlogger Evie exists. Like, and I hate that, but, like, if the multi-universe theory reigns true, I just thought of it. So now it exists, you know? Um, oh, this is interesting. They have them activated outside inns or player homes. I imagine you can find one false scars. Interesting. Yeah, I think we do have a patch for it. So I'll have to double check. I had brilliant great caverns opened us. I was blank with had made. Blank be careful, danger before us. Blank to the Nords. Uh, blank halls of the dead, I'm assuming that says. A full of Draugr, blank. Incredible dangerous, and if we are blank. Rumors of treasure, blank true. Interesting. Okay. Well, someone, uh, someone got one of those erasable pens or something like that. I don't know. But it looks like the book is right ahead. We'll quick save one more time because I'm afraid. But yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to check. All right, let's see. Evie vlogging from the front of her seat ever SVB, picking up her skeletons from soccer practice. Yeah, like, I don't know. There seems like, maybe it's just because TikTok has my brain rotted. But, like, you see, like, I don't know. This is probably, like, a very specific experience. But my For You page is full of, like, stay-at-home moms. But, like, the ones that have the time to make everything look really nice and neat and, like, label everything and everything's nicely organized. Like, I think we did a stream of this before. I fucking love those organizational TikToks. And they're all by, like, stay-at-home moms, you know? Like, I don't think I want to be... Can I be show real for a second? I don't think I want to be a stay-at-home mom. I just want to be a stay-at-home wife. There? You know what I mean? Like, all I want to do is, like, go to Pilates, go to Dunkin' Donuts, and play video games. And, like, make things look nice for my boyfriend. Can I do that? That's all. I, I, like, I don't want the, like, mom part of it. I just want to stay at home. <laughs> and, like, some may say that's selfish, but listen. I'm just being real. I'm just being honest. And it's not a gender thing. If you want to be a stay-at-home dad, stay-at-home parent, 
fuck yeah, live your best life, you know? Like, sometimes you just want to be taken care of and go to Pilates. And I think that's okay, you know? Everyone's entitled to it. You know, sometimes you just want to be spoiled. And that's, that's okay. <laughs> All right, let's see. Where's the little, there should be something to get this out of here. Probably like a pulley thingy. Well, let's see if we can find a pulley thingy, anything around here. Why are you just standing there? Oh, he's guarding the pulley thingy. There we go. All right. Let's see. We're getting close, though. I think this is the final chamber. I think. I could be very wrong. But it does kind of look like every other Draugr Crypt, which is a little bit disappointing. But, eh. It happens. That's okay. You know. I don't know. I do appreciate when mod authors, like, go the extra mile to make their crypts look unique. But I totally understand why not many of them do. Because I'm sure it's, like, a butt-ton of work. But that's the thing is I do get kind of like, as someone who's been playing Skyrim for a while, I do get kind of well, old how it's or kind of bored of the like crypts and everything like that. Cause it does feel like they're kind of samey. You know what I mean? Like there's the ones in the snow, there's these ones, and then there's like the Dwemer. And that's, that's pretty much it. You know what I'm saying? It's all kind of, oh, you're not a friend. Yeah. Oh shit. Um, whew. Ah. Good thing that hit Lydia, not me. It would be crazy if it hit me. Are you good? Yeah, you're fine. You're you're totally fine. Okay. Um. Anyway, <laughs> awkward. Don't step on the trap thingy. There we go. All right. Another one. Ooh, there's soup on the ground. Magic soup. All right. Um, I'm gonna get off that because. Yeah, I'm gonna let you. Oh, is no one gonna set that on fire? Oh, okay. I, I really thought my ladies made a fire would trigger the fire, but that's that's okay. Um, are you good? Okay, you don't need. There we go. All right. Honed ancient Nord greatsword. Ah. We own to have honed ancient greatsword carry space. I'm sure we'll find more. I'm sure the more ancient Nord runes we go in, we'll find more. But I want it and I want it now. Okay, what can I say? I think that's reasonable. Okay. All right. Hello? Hello? Where are you? Hi! Oh, they are not affected by the cold. They're fire. Can you give Lydia. <gasps> I forgot I could do that! Oh, thank you, Tap. God bless you. Okay. Um, here, kill that guy so I can unload yeah. my junk into your trunk. Interpret that as you wish. Yeah. Do I still have my fire ladies? Yeah, they're back there. Okay. Fuck yeah, I totally forgot I could do that. Get his ass. Who, who is that? Sir, do you go here? God, I do no damage to him. Can I like, does he even have blood for me to suck? Okay, that does a little bit more damage, but not really. <laughs> I always forget I can give my followers shit though. I totally forgot about that. Here, can you, do you want another? Ah! Okay. It's always the, the metal clashing together. That sounds scares me. It's so loud. Okay. All right. Lydia, are you done? <laughs> ah! Are you good? Oh, God. Don't die. If you die, that's going to be so inconvenient. <laughs> It'll really fuck with my mood if you die. Are we done? Are we good? Are we good? Is she, like, out of health? What, what is going on? Why are you? Wait, why are the girls fighting? Do you see that? She's the, the girls are fighting. No! Here, just go away. There we go. Okay. Is she gonna spawn in swinging? No. Okay. I think we're good. Oh no, we're not. Okay. There's more. Um, I just I want to I want to I wanted to give you. Can I please give you stuff now? I'm right behind you. Thank you. Okay. All right. I need to trade some things. I'll be glad to help you. Thank you. Okay. Um, I need you to take so much shit. Okay. Bam. Uh, bam. Bam. Oh, God. She's at her carry weight limit, too. <laughs> oh, no. Now, <laughs> now I've done it. All right. What am I at? 353. Okay, we can go get that horn greatsword, though, if I can find where the fuck it is. Yay! Greatsword! Oh, God. 
Uh, I need more pack mules. I mean followers. <laughs> oh, shoes. I'm sorry. Twitch is being weird for you. But thank you so much for the two months. I really appreciate it, gamer. Thank you so much. Uh, you have 21 PlayStations. Thank you, gamer. All right. But have a good, have a good day. Oh, shit. You almost died again. Okay. Um... Let's see, what can I get rid of that I don't need? Um, I don't need this staff, actually. I really don't. Supple, like, if it doesn't have a display and it weighs something, I'm getting rid of it. The arrows don't weigh anything, so I'm not as concerned about those. Everlasting fire. Uh, I'm getting rid of it. I want the display. I'm not as worried about the, um, enchantment. Oh, excuse me, the enchantment for now. But thank you so much, gamer. I appreciate you. I just, like, burped again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. Towards the chamber. Towards the chamber. Now that we've got that organized. I fucking hope so. Okay, we really need to go back. <laughs> My inventory's full. Lydia's inventory's full. Aryan's gonna come back and I'm gonna be like, Sir, check this the fuck out. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. Ah! Whoopsie. Um. Oh, God, he is... Yeah. No, don't walk through it! No, 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 no! Don't yeah. walk through it! You okay? I watched his health bar. I watched it. Oh, bro. Okay. Um. Huh? What? Huh? I saw that it said a oh, circle of strength. I heard a Fusro da, and I see that that one says fox. Yeah, how do I. Oh, God. Who is that? Who is doing that? Huh? I don't see any other, like... Things. Oh god, I hate it when it's like this because I get so, like, turned around easy. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't see... Huh. There we go. Ah! Oh, back up, back up, back up, back up. No, back up, back up, back up! Yes, guard him. Is it gonna stop? Okay. I'm hoping that that... Okay, good. <sighs> this poor guy has been through the fucking ringer today. <laughs> this poor skeleton is just going through it. Oh my god, I keep stepping on the traps. Uh, if this skeleton dies... I'm saying it now. If this skeleton dies, it is entirely my fault. It is entirely my own stupidity that did it. Okay? Alright. Oh, shit! No! No, 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 no. No. Okay. Are you okay? God, he is a fucking trooper. He is an absolute super trooper, like the ABBA song. Oh, fuck. This is stressing me out. Come on, buddy. There you go. Oh, God. Why is this so hard? There's the Fusro Da. Okay. Oh, my God. He's level 30. Oh, shit. Oh, my baby does not stand a chance. Ah! Okay, can I just slow him down? Does he take any damage from the slow. Okay, come on, Lydia. Here, I can do that, too. I can do that move, too. Where's that? Where's my Foos Roda? Oh, I... Yeah, there we go. Okay, here. Foos! There you go. How's that feel? Oh, just take your time, buddy. Whenever you're ready. Whenever you're ready. Whenever you're ready. Yeah, me too, buddy. I can't shout again yet. There you go. Heal. Heal. Perfect. Okay. Do we have the battle axe? Ah, uh, what do we have? It's the battle axe and the great sword. Mmm, both of these are cool. We'll come back for the... Yeah, I don't have any other shit. She can't hold any more either. Um... I'm sure we'll find more of these. I think. 
I hope so. We, we probably will. We probably will. I've seen Hoenn Nord stuff quite... Is that fucking Nernroot? No, that's something else. What is that? Did you hear that? It sounded like Nernroot for a second. Oh, please! Thank you so much for the Prime sub! Thank you for five Playstations! Thank you for your support, Gamer. I really, really appreciate it. You have five Playstations. Thank you, Gamer. Okay. Don't stop hitting! Stop! Be nice! There we go. Oh, there, another one? Jesus Christ. Stop being alive! I need you to stop! God, I do no fucking damage. Where am I? Where, where am I? There's my fire lady. Okay. Oh, there's only one! Okay, let's, let's get another one. Let's, let's get another one. Lydia! Oh, shit. Oh, we cannot have Lydia die. Lydia, I cannot have my fucking pack mule die! Go, girly pop, go! Get him, bestie. Victory. Good. Okay. Good. 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 All right. Uh, we'll take the silver, and we'll take uh, the gold. Yeah. Here we go. Ancient Nord book. We'll come back to that. Uh, we don't need that right now. Huh? How are you on fire? Wait, where'd this naked lady come from? No! Stop! 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 Stop hitting! Stop hitting! Play nice! What did he do to you? Why are you guys so... It's you two! It's you two! You guys are bullying my son! I do not stand for this! Oh my god! They're bullying my fucking son! Kids these days! Jesus! <laughs> Why are they so mean to my son? Ah! I got okay. I got distracted. I thought that was a friend. That is not a friend. That is not a friend. Okay, there we go. If the boaters are your sons, and who are they? Uh, adopted. Um. Uh, <laughs> oh shit! I'm in the middle. Okay. Um. There you go. You go. All right, come on, get him. God, Zelda Mage is so baby. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh my god. Okay, we're good. You're good. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. Where is it? The heart chamber. God, I feel like every time we get closer, we get further away. The red-headed stepchildren! Yeah, literally, right? They really are, though. Why are they so mean to my boner? Like, do they think I love my boners more than I love them? Because that's correct, but, like, it's not a huge deal, you know? God, and you guys are so slow. Get with the program. Get in there. Get in there. Oh, Jesus. Can you believe this? Strange nieces. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Jeez. All right, we're getting there. I think we are finally making pro- I mean, we've been making progress, but God, I hate- I hate this twisty, tiny, whiny, windy bullshit, okay? I hate feeling like I'm lost, and I feel like I'm very lost right now. Okay. <gasps> okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Yay. All right, now your guys' turn. You can do it. Come on, you can do it. You can do it! Okay. I don't know how he got all his health back, but you know what? I'm just gonna go through the door and hope that they magically catch up to me. That's what I'm hoping, because if they try to get through that on their own, it's not happening. Just teleport over here. Just, just teleport over here. Oh, baby. He's really doing his best. Oh god, do I have any fire spells though? Real talk? No, of course I don't. That would be that would be too easy. Okay. Um Oh my god, where did you get that? Okay. Whatever. C come on. Come on. Is there a way to turn those traps off? I don't see one. Oh, poor thing. He'll just teleport over. I'm sure 
We'll kill him and he'll just yeet. He'll just appear, okay? Like, like usually that's what happens, right? If I walk far enough away, they just kind of appear. You know? Y you know? Okay, there's my naked ladies. There's Lydia. Oh, no, you don't. Is he still over there? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go through a door or something. I I feel bad. I like. <laughs> oh, you must. I wish I could just grab his hand and drag him. Like just pick him up. He must be so scared right now. My little buddy. What? Okay, that was something else. Jeez, Louise. Yeah. I'm really hoping he just teleports over. <laughs> Okay, we just gotta keep Lydia alive, though. Right now, we just... We gotta make... We gotta... Oh, come on, Lydia. Come on, Lydia. Come on, Lydia! Oh, they're going after me, girl. You gotta help me here. You gotta work with me. Live! Oh, my God. Come on! Oh. I can't die. I cannot die. There we go. Is he still there? Oh my god. I still see him kneeling over there. The boss fight has started. No, Lydia, 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 get get out of there. Get out of there. What what is happening? Why are we what? What? Why are we on the, the thing? Why is everyone just sitting in the fire? Like it's normal. Oh my god. Lydia's gonna fucking die. How do I disable this? Oh shit. How do I... Okay. No! Ah oh, shit. I was hoping I could run past it. But he hit me. He clocked me right as I stepped on it. Oh my god. It is simply too strong for me. Do I not have the chutzpah to go yet? Oh my god. Still here. <sighs> Shit. Okay. Let's get going then. I think our last save i know i don't want to be cheeky but i might be a little cheeky because there's part of me that's like maybe this is a sign we need to take a break go to fucking solitude and unload our toad and there's also part of me that's like just fucking push through just push through because low-key i don't want to do that all again <laughs> um i don't know I do need to run an ad so Twitch doesn't interrupt the content. Because if I don't run an ad every hour, one will autoplay. And I don't want you guys to miss anything. So, I'm going to run the big chunky ad break. We're going to take our break. And we will be back in like three minutes. Um, and I will decide what we want to do <laughs> once we come back. So, we're going to take an ad, ad break for three minutes. You are not missing any content. And I will see you in a little bit while I decide what we want to fucking do. <laughs> be right back!
I did some thinking, okay? And I'm going to simply, I never accept my L's. You guys know this. I never take the L. And I think this is a sign from God that we need to take the L. So what are we going to do? We're going to go back to Skyrim for a little bit. We're going to unload our toad. We're going to see if we can get some new spells. I want to see, I want to ask around, um, because I believe there's a court wizard in Solitude. I want to see if we can get some more powerful spells. That's my first thought. And then I want to maybe see if maybe we'll do something else for a little bit um, to help us unload our toad a little bit. Because I know we have like Nettlebane and stuff like that that's taking up space. And then we'll come back here. Because that boss was level 45. What level are we? We are level 18. Okay. So I think what we're going to do is I need to drop like one thing. I'm at 381. Can I drop like a singular hit bone? There's just going to be a hit bone lying on the ground. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Um, but I think we're going to head back to Skyrim. And unload our toad for a little bit. So let's head to the docks. We are going to come back to Falskar. But I think taking a little break would be okay to kind of level up a little bit. At least get some new spells. At the very least unload our inventory. Because half the battle today has been literally inventory management. And unfortunately, it looks like our skelly did not make it. So let's wait until, this is a beautiful fucking sky though. It's like the sky's lit up for him. Here, I, I think it's, is it Instagram moment time? I think it might be Instagram moment time. Hold on. Instagram moment. Who's ready for an Instagram moment? Oh my God, look at her in the snow. There we go. Thumbnail, baby! Okay. Uh, if you join and with the vampires and join their character, you can purchase the heal undead spell. That we will definitely have to do. Uh, might do your character because she will want to have more knowledge but not stay a vampire. So she can gain the knowledge but then dip. That's a good idea, actually. So we will probably do vampire. I don't know when we're going to do vampires. Um, I feel like I want to, like, I want to get the false guard stuff done because I am enjoying it. But it does feel like it might be, like... A little bit above our pay grade. So maybe, I don't know. We'll look at it. I don't know what we're going to do. But I feel like we do need to take a break from False Scar. Because I don't know if we're going to be able to, like... There's just so much happening with it. You know what I mean? Like, it's just it's just a lot. And we're a little underleveled for it. The only reason we are getting anywhere with it is because of Lydia. Um, so I think what we're going to do... We're going to head over to Dragonborn Gallery. What? How are enemies nearby? Who the fuck is enemies? Oh, that is enemies. I I see now. Okay, um are, Is it going to come over? Are are you pulling up? Hello? Are you going Oh shit. Oh, look at it. It's, it's honestly Oh boy. Okay, anyway, that's, uh, not my problem anymore. <laughs> not in my line of sight. Not my problem. <laughs> I am simply going to skedaddle. Okay. Mm! Zanellian, thank you so much for the 10 months. You now have 10 PlayStation 2s. Anal beads to you too, my good sir. <laughs> All right, let's head over. Unload our fucking toad. And see what else we want to do. Because we have too much shit. We have so much fucking shit. But thank you, Sid Elliot. I appreciate that. So, let's head inside. The lighting is just so fucking gorgeous. And let's see what we can get rid of. Because right now, we are literally at 380 out of 380. <laughs> and I know some stuff we're not going to be able to get rid of. Because we can't um, remove it. We're going to need to make some replicas. But I think we can still get... Um, I think we can still do a good amount. So let's do this. Display prep. 15 new displays. Okay, Lydia. I've got your back. Give me all of your shit. Um, well, not all of it, because I need you to have clothes on. Um, where, where is it? Trade some things. Let's see what you've got there. Yeah. Um, gimme, 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 uh, gimme, gimme, gimme. Uh, I don't know. You can keep the stabs, I guess. I think I accidentally took her clothes, though. So, let me, uh... <laughs> Did I take her clothes? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Um, 
Very good, ma'am. Yes, very good. Thank you. Okay. Four. Okay. All right, let's see. We are at 375 now. So we still have quite a good amount of stuff. I do want to try enchanting some things, and I also want to see if we can make any replicas. So what supplies do I have? Um, it was... Well, actually, let's see what replicas are available for us to craft anyway. Golden Claw Replica. Let's do that. Warlock's Ring Replica. Yep. Okay. That's two displays now. Yippee. So, let's do... Doo -doo -doo. Two new displays. 161. Okay. What other displays? We did the Dragonstone. We did the Golden Claw already. We don't have any clay. And we need... Oh, we need ebony for the nettle made? Shit. Okay. Um... I'll have to find where we can get quarried stones. Oh, I'm not here. sure. But I hey! I have some exciting news. A benefactor for the museum was impressed with the exhibits here and donated a relic from their personal collection. Ooh. You can decide if you want to use it or place it right on display. We have placed that shit on display. Put it on display. It's for the, the children. They'll love that shit. All right, let me just get my happy ass over there. My ass is a little bit too fat right now. There we go. Okay. Now we are at 373. <laughs> So let's head back to the safe house because we we did get to do a few um what's it called we did get to do a few uh blah 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 blah, blah replicas which is good um gaslight so I think oh big mom thank you so much for the follow you're not gaslight you keep girl boss welcome to the stream but yeah I think we're gonna head up to the safe house and see if there's stuff we can enchant or disenchant because we have a lot of stuff is there jewelry in the, the hidden treasure oh yeah we could put jewelry there so my thing with the hidden treasury is i like seeing all the gold get bigger <laughs> i like seeing it grow if i put jewelry there will that like affect it let's see so because i do have the cell pile but i haven't made any fucking money yeah my little thing for the cell pile isn't there yet so i think i actually need to talk to arian and like activate the cell pile um, because I'm not making any money off of it right now. And it might honestly just be easier to go into town. And this is all mostly potions anyway, so, like, I'm not sweating it, you know? Um, but I do want to see. So, let's see. Gold jewelry, silver ingots, and silver color all add to the total. Oh, okay. Well, first of all, let's see if we can enchant anything. Um, because I do think we can kind of just milk enchanting Loki. Um, it's a pretty good skill. Also, here are some of our, like, cool outfits that we have, um, that we kind of just keep here for sillies, because they look cool. Um, let's see. Is there anything we can enchant? Uh, these we can disenchant. There we go. And then, I want to see, did we sort our supplies? We did not. So, let's sort our supplies. And that'll get some stuff off of our inventory as well so it'll kind of put all of our stuff away so we can we'll have our leather crafting supply you know ingots and ore all that jazz and that took nearly a hundred pounds off um so let's see let's see soul gem coffer all right we have a few that are filled so let's take these ones that are filled up and i'm not going to enchant them on stuff that i care about because right now um for one we have stuff we can enchant but, like, my core, like, we've talked about how I like this armor a lot. I think it's really pretty. I want to wait till we have better enchantment skill to put it up. Because once you enchant something, I mean, you can disenchant and re-enchant it, I think, with some of the stuff here. But I don't want to, like, I don't know if this sounds stupid. I don't want to risk it. So, let's do... We have a few extras. Um, hmm. I don't know if I want to do the big stuff on the gold diamond rings or anything like that. What's, like, cheap? Um, let's see. Like, some of this stuff, well, I guess it's, like, I don't know. The gold and the silver fancy stuff, I, I don't know. Let's do it on this stuff because I know I'm just going to sell it. I know I'm not particularly, I know it's not going to be good enchantments. And so I know it'll be, like, easy, I guess, if that makes sense. Yeah, so... 10 points of fire, 10 points of fire damage actually isn't that bad. Um, so we'll do that one. And this is all just shit I don't care about. I don't really want to do anything big on stuff that's important until we're at like, <sighs> probably greater, honestly, I think would be the best. I don't know, maybe I'm overthinking it. That's always possible. I do overthink quite a bit. So we'll just do this. 
The common soul gem. We could probably do something with the common soul gem, but maybe we'll do that for like a, um, let's see. Maybe like one of her circlets. I know I wanted her to have this circlet specifically because it was green. <laughs> and she has green eyes and I thought that would be nice. So maybe we'll do this. Um, cheat death. Well, that sounds fun. Increased experience. Um, yeah, it's only 1% with the common soul gem. So let's just do fortify regen. Uh, yeah, for now. I think that'll be good. Fortify, regen, 6% faster, sure. That'll be good for now. Okay, and let's put that on, actually. It's increased by 20 points. Fort yeah, I think that'll be fine. Um, anything? There is a disenchanting font. Yeah, that's true. Uh, do we have any more useful gems in here? Or did I use them all? I think I, I think I used them all. So, okay, cool. Uh, let's see. Is there anything? I do want to put... Yeah, okay. Let's go back up to the treasury, actually. Um, there's something else I wanted to do, but I don't remember what it is. I can store my keys, actually. I don't think keys have any weight. No, I don't have... Well, do they? No, but we can just... Yeah, we don't need all of those. We'll put at least one of them away. I think that'll be fine. And then... Do, 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 do. That's what I want to do. I want to put my fate cards away. So here's my fate card collection. Uh, what? When did I get a thousand gold? Okay. Don't fucking mind if I do. Alright. But let's put our cards away. Um, I'm not sure exactly how we go about making a full deck. I don't know. But I know it's like a thing you can do and it's very cool. And you can put the decks um, on display. Uh, if I recall correctly. Lydia, do you have anything else? Still here. That was not... Let me see. Um... Uh... I'll be glad to help you. Yeah, she has these staffs. Which, again, I don't really need. So I think we can sell those. And we'll, like, go into town, I think. But for now, um, let's check out the treasury. Woohoo! Okay. And let's do... For one, let's do a thousand gold. Um, I think having key, I think giving five thousand on hand is a good number. And then we'll put some of the jewelry in there. So anything we didn't do, gold is a reward from the curator's companion. Mm, okay. Um, where's our gold stuff? Yeah, gold, 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 and all the silver. Yeah, all the jewelry affects it. So we'll just put that in here because I don't have anything I particularly want to enchant with it. Ha. Doesn't look like we did a big dent into it, but hey, we're getting there. We're getting there, you know. And not money doesn't grow on trees. We're building our wealth slowly. <laughs> so let's see. Um, yeah, I think we're good for now. Let's head out to Solitude. Uh, we'll go this way, I think. I think this is the way out that we can take, but probably not. I'm probably wrong. I think this actually leads out onto a balcony. So I think I'm, yeah. Um, can we go? We can go down to the main city from here. Whee! Money doesn't grow on trees, but it does fall out of King Orgnum's coffer. You're right. You're bloated with disease. Oh, God damn it! I'm bloated with disease. Do I have any cure disease potions? I did forget about that. No, I think it's because I stored all my potions. That's okay. I'll deal with that. I think I need to get more cure disease potions anyway, so... It's fine. All right. Let's head over. Let's head to the Blue Palace. And because I'm pretty sure they have a court wizard there. And I want to talk to him and see if they have anything for me in terms of better spells. Which I don't think I'm going to find any fancy blood magic spells from the Blue Palace. But you never know. You know, and there's a few other spells I've been trying to find too. But I haven't gotten to. Like long stride and stuff like that I've been looking for. So, we shall see. Okay. What? The game crashed. <laughs> the game crashed. Yay! You can't see it by making a thumbs up. Yay! <laughs> so, let's uh, open her on up again. Um, 
shit okay <laughs> i'm waiting for the little circle on a vortex to stop it. <laughs> okay thank you nick all right let's give this another try i just wanted to go to the blue palace i guess i just wasn't bougie enough so they crashed the whole game because fuck me i guess you know all right come on come on come on oh it's coming she's coming she's coming she's coming i swear i see the little icon on my desktop she's pulling up she's pulling up come on please please don't oh, be please guys. please okay all right it started beatboxing at me that don't, that's how you know it's a good sign that's how you know it might be working Okay. Can I go to the Blue Palace, please? I would like to go to the Blue Palace. The Blue, the Blue, <laughs> the Blue Palace. <laughs> the Blue Palace, please. Come on. Okay, there we go. Continue. All right. Sometimes the game just crashes, and that's okay. As long as it doesn't happen again when we try to go into the Blue Palace, then I won't be concerned. So as long as it doesn't happen again, we're good. Okay? All right. Come on. 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 Thank you. Okay. All right. Let's do our little, our little slip inside. Wee! Okay. And then we slip inside again. Bloated with disease. Shut up, Lydia. Wee! Okay. Alrighty. And now, boop, we are good to go. All right, let's save just because um, I low key don't want to have to deal with the ladders again <laughs> if it does crash again. And let's go inside the blue palace. Hopefully, they'll be chill to me. I mean, Banya's a noble herself, so they they shouldn't have any issues with her. You know, okay, we've discovered the blue palace. Very cool, very fun, very sexy. May I enter this royal establishment? I feel like the blue palace low-key, like the door is nice. I really like all the redone doors, but I feel like the blue palace should have a bigger door. I don't know, maybe that's just me. I think it deserves a bigger, thicker, chunkier door. You know, with a big handle that you like knock on it. Okay, there we go. I love the way the snow looks in Lydia's hair. That was really cool. All right, are you the court wizard? Seville Stentor has a grasp of magical theory that I would never have expected from a human, even a Breton. Uh, okay. Uh, are you the court wizard? No. That honor is Seville Stentor's. A smart woman steers clear of Stentor. Oh, okay. And keeps herself out of the dungeon when she's having a bad day. What do you mean? Let's just say that the headsman's axe may not be the worst way for a solitude jail prisoner to die. Look at that. I've told you to watch your tongue, and mine is waggling. I've said enough. Okay, well, stop waggling. Um, you are free to leave. Let's find Seville Stentor and Barring see fancy what folly. is up. The good people of Hafinger are surely capable of God, this of is such a... Oh, oh this is another dogs. moment. Hold on. Hold on. I know I've done this screenshot before, but with the lighting and all the people in the background... Oh yeah. Oh, maybe, maybe. Why is that not loading? <laughs> it's ruining my shot. There we go. Oh, this is so pretty. All right, I'm leaning towards that being the thumbnail. That's what I'm thinking. I'm not sure. Your Eminence, my scrying is suggested nothing in the area. Dragon Bridge is under imperial control. This is okay. Don't mind if I do. Perhaps some more. Why is there a void here? Might be called for. Oh, yes, uh, of course, you were right. Fault, tell Captain Aldous. Uh, <laughs> to the okay. <laughs> Thank you, Jarl Elisif. What about the cave? I'm gonna just take a seat right here. Probably be in bed. Care of the cave. You're looking it's a bit under the weather. I know, Rest it's uh, not great. But You're we'll dismissed. deal with that later. Okay, Seville Stentor. That's Brailing. Probably the one with the, the hoodie. If I needed something from you, you would know it. I did think about jumping into the void. Um, what do you have for sale? There we go. So, you wish to master the arcane arts? Correct. Okay, let's see what she got. Um, conduit research. That's cool. I'm looking for tomes. Astronarch mark. Marks a second. The mark detonates when struck by a summon to reanimate minion. That actually sounds cool as hell. I want that. 
Um, backlash. Is there reconstruction? Uh, heal a damaged conjured minion. I wonder if that would count on, um... I wonder if that would count for my skellies. Let's grab it just in case. Bone spirit. I think we have that one already. Bound battle axe, bound sword. Bound sword could low-key be useful if I need to defend myself. We'll do bound dagger. Just because I don't I don't see her holding a full-on sword. I'm going I'm to be honest. Um, the cat totem is very cool. We'll do cat totem. Dead eye captain. I didn't like dead eye captain, Loki. Foul zombie. Okay. Gremlins. Conjure magister. Zombie. See, some of these look cool, but I don't want to have to think. I will look at the vampire outfit in a second. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> Consuming power. Hmm. Here, these are all destruction. Elemental bolt. Um, we'll grab this just in case, because we don't really have a ton of damage right now. Uh, fast healing is always a good one. Um, she's got a lot. Uh, that's the one I'm looking for. I'm looking for long stride. Let's see, ice spike. Lamb of Mara, Latch Creek, Leech Sea. Ooh. Infest a living target. Isn't this a Pokemon move? Infest a living target with a poison spore for 10 seconds. Uh, when the caster falls below full health, uh, the spore absorbs five points of health per second. Okay, that could be cool. Um, I feel like I shouldn't be getting into that point anyway. Here we go, long strides. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, I've been waiting for that one. Necro plague. Oh hell yeah! I want to do a plague. Fuck yeah! Okay. Um. Prepare for adventure is a cute spell. I like that one. Um. Uh, soul trap. That's the other one I want. I'm just like skimming through these real quick. Uh. Yeah. Okay. I think that's all I wanted. Thank you, man. Uh, oh wait, actually, let me see if I can I had you sell her any shit. I think you'll um, appreciate this. You can have this, 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 and then you can have all these staffs. I don't need them, frankly. Uh, what's welling blood? Let me take a look. Take a look. I missed that actually. Good catch. Okay, let's see. Welling blood. No, I didn't mean that. What did I just buy? I didn't mean to do that. Curse is a living target. If the, ooh, if the target loses at least 60% of its max health within 8 seconds, it dies. Very cool. Let me see if I can just... Troll's blood. No, okay. Let's grab that one. Yeah, I just grabbed something. I don't know what the fuck I just grabbed. But, um, okay. It was this spell. God damn it. <laughs> I just wasted some money. But that's okay. Good catch, though, Yora. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right, let's learn all these spells. Blood gift. Cool. Okay. Care of yourself. Welling blood enough. will probably help us out a lot. So let's let's do this. A soul. I don't want this one. Soul trap. I'm gonna want. I don't want this one anymore. I don't want this one anymore. Um, this one I might want. Blood gift I might want. Necro plague and welling blood. Yeah, so I think we are gonna need to put more actually points into restoration than destruction, honestly. Um because that was my initial thought. I was like dumped a bunch of points into destruction. Because lesser blood drain is a destruction spell. But some of these are looking hmm. Hmm. You know? But also. Where's long stride? I fucking well love this done. spell. Here, where's well, the vampire? Sorry. Lady. I beg your pardon. I don't see her. Please oh, I'm sorry. Did I imply that you She's just staring at her boobs. Reports? Good for her. You must forgive. There's a vampire here. Wizard, or you're likely to I like Yara. Let's see. She's I really pretty. If you have business, please see Falk Fire. You're very pretty, my lady. Um. <laughs> can you imagine walking up there and just, hey, why did Ulfric kill your husband? That's so fucked up. Um. Do you need someone to check out Wolf Skull Cave? Oh, I thought that matter was handled. I think Falk is taking care of that. Is he? Hmm. We'll do this well. little side quest. Hey. Hey. Do you have business with the court? Yeah. Um. 
You need help with the cave? You mean the Dragon Bridge issue? I'll be honest with you. I was planning to let that go. Varnius is a bit jumpy at the best of times. There have been reports of weird happenings near Wolfskull Cave. <laughs> Travelers disappearing, odd lights. I suspect wild animals, or perhaps bandits. For a split second, I thought he said pandas instead of bandits. <laughs> it's like there's pandas in Skyrim now? Oh, cave, fuck yeah. I'll make sure you're repaid for your work. Okay. So let's do Feel free to return a few to quests on the mainland in Skyrim. Are you the vampire? Do you do you feel all right? No, actually, I don't. Um, don't miss anything up while you're here. Yeah, I think we'll just grab a um, cure disease spell on our way out. Maybe sell a few other things. Um, and then I think we'll be on our way. Because um, we do have a few things we can sell, I think, to clear out our inventory. Yeah, we're at 278 now, but I think we can still clear out a little bit more. So, but Longstride, the reason I like Longstride is I always complain about being slow. Check this out. You should talk to <laughs> She's a runner, she's a track star. She gonna run away when it gets hard. So I like that spell a lot. <laughs> it's also good for um, if I'm over cucumbered and I don't want to have to worry about being slow. Oh, thank you for the hydrate, Yora. Hmm. I got root beer on my chin. That's okay. All right, let's see if we can sell some other stuff and we will. Yeah. But I think we'll also do some of the quests around Skyrim before we head back to Falskar. Just to buff us up a little bit more, I think would be good. Let's head in here. And hopefully we'll be able to sell some of our potions, because I know we have a shit ton of potions lying around. Um, or actually, no, we don't. We stored them, which is like, whatever. Okay. I did need to talk to Aryan about the cell file, but that's okay. God, this looks so cool. Look at this. Oh, my God. I haven't been in this store in, like, forever. Oh, my God. Like, look at it. Look at that. It's just so cool looking. I don't know how to like, ah. Oh shit, what happened here? <laughs> so not everything spotted 110% correctly, but you know, but it still looks very cool. So let's see if I have anything. I think most of my ingredients got stored, yeah. Um, but I think we can still- You're a traveler, correct? Oh. Have you been to Whiterun? Uh, yeah. I think I have. <laughs> I hadn't really hoped to run into someone who'd been there. My daughter, Fura, was assigned to Whiterun after she joined the Imperial Army. I was hoping you might have met her. I haven't heard from her lately. I've tried talking to Captain Aldous, but he hasn't been any help. Uh, I haven't met her, but I could try to get more information. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Anything you can find out from Captain Aldous would be welcome news. Yeah, sure. No problem. All right. We'll do that, and then we'll also get that in so our quest book. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? And let's see, do you have a cure disease potion? Oh wait, I can sell her my bones? Uh, okay. Uh, we'll give her those. I'm kind of concerned that she's willing to buy bones off me, but who am I to, uh, <laughs> look a gift horse in the mouth, right? Oh. Alright, let me just chug this real quick. Get me next Yay, time no more diseases! Okay. Um, oh. Oh, I thought it was, like, because of the glow. For some reason, I thought it was, like, blood splatter back here for a second. I was like, Angeline. Angeline, what the fuck are you up to, girly pop? Goddamn. <laughs> okay. I think we also have some weapons that we can sell off, too. We should be able to go to the general store for those. That's Radiant Raymond. Uh, general store, bits and pieces. Yeah, that's right. Oh, hello! My name is EB Games. I love women and dragons and women dragons. <laughs> I am the Skyrim adult Cocomelon. Nothing of substance is here. It's only overstimulation and shit posting. Just got done doing some Thieves Guild shenanigans. Hell yeah! We haven't done Thieves Guild quite yet. But I'm excited. I'm a little annoyed um, because I. Well, no, it should have autosaved once I left Angeline's, right? Yeah, I think it should have. So hopefully I won't have to go get my um, 
my fucking... I don't know why. I forgot Cure Disease Potion and my brain autofilled to, like, Miralax. <laughs> Let me get my fucking Miralax from the Alchemist. <laughs> this cream is scuffed. In the I'm so glad you enjoy it. I always get, like... I will never forget when I had this one mod list I made. I used to not play Immersive Collections. I used to, um... I used to make my own mod list, and I had this mod list for, um, Requiem, which is, like, Skyrim on fucking hard mode that I was gonna try. Um, and I remember I was so excited to play it, and everyone was so excited for me to play it. And it was right after Skyrim got updated. And back then, I didn't know how to prevent Skyrim from updating. So I remember I, like, tried so hard to get my stream started, and the game just was not working. Because I didn't know then about, um, how to turn off automatic, automatic updates for Skyrim, right? Uh, and I was so sad, and I remember it was just, the stream was literally, like, 20 minutes long. And it was me, like, troubleshooting with David, crying in an ending stream. <laughs> so I have vowed that I will be a little scuffed, but I will never be that scuffed again. Or else I will die. <laughs> but I'm glad you had fun! Okay, cool. We don't need to, ooh, we don't need to do that shit again. Um, but I do want to just head over here real quick. Boop! Hopefully I won't crash as I go into bits and pieces, or else I will I will also turn into bits and or pieces. Um, I haven't know, ever played like Welcome a Ghostblade character. Pieces. At least it, I probably have, but it's been a very long pieces. time. So I have a character like that that one day I hope I get to play on here. But I, are, are you good? Biren said you got here just before the execution. Must have been a lovely Why are first sight. Like that? Anyway, what do you have for sale? <laughs> A bit of this, a bit of that. Uh, let me see if I can sell off, because I did make some cool stuff. Yeah, I enchanted this shit. Okay. Uh, it doesn't sell for a lot, but that's okay. But we have some extras, uh, that don't go in the museum. So we'll sell these, just because... If we can't enchant them, then, like, whatever. They, we can't enchant them, they can't go in the museum. Whatever. Uh, we can't... I would be shocked if it let me sell Nettlebane, but I'm not gonna risk it. Um, they stowed away for the bandits. Ooh, okay. Uh, but now, our toad has been unloaded. We're now down to 165 weight, as opposed to teetering around 370 carry weight. Okay. So that certainly helps. Let's... Yeah, we're level 18, right? We'll do a few little side quests. We'll complete some quests, because I know we have to give Nettlebane to Danica. So we'll probably clear out Wolf Skull Cave, head back to White Run, and do some of the side quests there, just to help us level up a little bit. And then I think we'll head back to Falskar, because Falskar is big boy. However, it is nighttime. I think it might be, it might be boner summoning time. So where's our, where's our bone, conjure altar? What time is it? 7.58 p.m. Sounds like perfect time for me. All right, are we ready for boner time? Oh yeah, conjure that boner altar. Yeah! Okay. It's bone in time. Wait, wait, wait. Bone? I need one of each. I have one of each bone. Hit bone? Left. Am I missing bones? I had a shit ton of skulls. Where did my skulls go? I had like seven of them. Oh my god, I misplaced my human skulls! Where, where the fuck did I put them? How, how did I lose? How, how did I manage to? Okay. Um. Alrighty. No bone. No boner. Hi, Esmo. Good night from Spain. Also pain. Man, pain with the S. That's crazy. But welcome in. Uh, no boners. We, we got no boners because I am ran out of... I've gotten sorted in with the pelts. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Okay. Well, I'm sure we'll find some human skulls to hang out with anyway. Um, I think... Yeah, well, I'll well, be fine. Uh, it, it's fine. Everything is fine. It's okay. I'm not going to cry about it. I'm not... We'll, We'll be, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We want boners. What kind of stream is this? We don't have the skulls to conjure the boners. I need one of every bone to make a boner. And I left my skulls at home. <laughs> Mom, can you... Mom, I left my human skulls at home. Can you go get them? <laughs> oh, my God. I feel like I could go back. Like, I'll be so real with you. 
could I go back to the safe house and go get him? Yes. Do I feel like it? Mm, no. So we're gonna go to Wolf Skull Cave. Um, there's bandits there, so I can take their skulls, right? I do kind of like... I don't know. Sometimes I am curious about, like, the probability of the bones spawning. Because I feel like... Like, I'm not a surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's gonna be interesting when I say I'm not a surgeon to start a sentence, right? But like, and it's probably randomly generated, but like, I feel like I shouldn't just get one bone from the people I kill. Why can't I get all the bones? Why can't I harvest human skulls? It really throws me off my game, you know? Like, I'm not decapitating people. Like, if I'm not bashing someone in the head, let me harvest their skull. Make it more immersive. <laughs> But are that one boner still alive in the dungeon? Oh, and he's all by himself. Oh. Huh? Oh, wait, shit! All right. Give me your skulls. I need your skull. I need... How are you resisting my plague? No, have the plague. Have the plague. Why are you resisting the necro plague? Be plagued. Why can't... How are they resisting the plague? I worked so hard on the, my plague. There we go. All right. Do any of you have a human skull? Because I would like to borrow it. I need to borrow your skull. So no head. <laughs> no, that one boner in the background. Oh, my heart. What's going on over here? What's this? Ooh, pretty lady. Statue de Merida. Meridia. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. Wait a second. Where's the Meridia's beacon quest? Well, oh, fuck, I'm right here. Shit, okay. We may as well finish the quest if I'm right fucking here. Look at my temple Jesus. lying in ruins. So much for the constancy of mortals, their crafts and their hearts. Yeah, you tell him, bestie. If they love me not, how can my love reach them? Honestly, say what you want about Meridia. Girlie knows her worth, you know? Restore to oh my me god, she built just like me, goddamn. I might guide you toward your destiny. Okay. Um Touch. Activate. There's your orb, Miss Thickums. Wait, what? It said Meridia's does not what? It is time for my splendor Ooh. to return to sky. Miss Meridia, I'm afraid of heights. But the token of my truth lies buried in the ruins of my once great temple. Now tainted by a profane darkness scaring <laughs> I didn't plan on doing Meridia's beacon, but I was like, shit, we're right here. The necromancer Malkarin defiles my shrine with Corruptions. I did. My goal Trapped is to do all the danger lost quests. Souls left in the wake of this war to do his bidding. Worse still, he uses the power stored within my own token to fuel his foul deeds. I have brought you here, mortal, to be my champion. Okay. You will enter my temple, retrieve my artifact, and destroy the defiler. Easy enough. Um, tell me more about the artifact. Mortals call it Dawnbreaker, for it was forged in a holy light that breaks upon my foes, burning away corruption and false life. You will enter my shrine, destroy Malkarin, and retrieve this mighty blade. Easy peasy. Okay, I'll do it. Of course you will. <laughs> I have commanded it. Go now. The artifact must be reclaimed and Malkarin destroyed. Are you gonna put me down gently? Malkarin has forced the door. Because if you don't put me down gently, I'm going to throw it. It's my temple and it responds to my decree. I will send down a ray of light. Guide this light through my temple and its doors. So I guess this is what we're doing now tonight. <laughs> I cannot follow 
call him Aridia because uh, I can never summon undead. And summoning undead is, like, a big thing for me. Like, I'll help you, girly pop, but I love the undead. They're, like, my besties. Have you met them? They're so cool. All right, here we go. Guide Meridia's light through the temple. So, I guess, uh, where we where we going, Meridia? Right over here? Okay. All right. Yippee! All right. Hopefully we can kill this guy, and then that'll be that. I'm sure. I don't remember if there's anything funky in the. Oh shit! All right, how 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 we doing with the light? It's a little dark in here, Miss Meridia. Uh, I thought I was gonna guide your light. See anything useful? No. All right. Well, we'll just come over here. <laughs> oh, give me a hello. Thank you for the hydrate. Okay, let's see. Oh god, this is all the little like. This is spooky. It's it. They've got like the mist and shit. I don't know if I like that. I haven't done this quest in forever. I know we do it like every playthrough, but I never, I never remember jack shit. Fuck all in terms of what's in it. Okay, can I open the sock, please? There we go. Now we're cooking. Nope. <laughs> okay. This one? Yay! Okay. Anything good in here? Oh, shit. Alright. Um. Oh. Shortcut? Here, I need a fucking... I need one of these things. I can't... Respectfully, I can't see fucking anything. So, Meridia, I know you're trying to have me guide your light, but I, I, I'm gonna need some help. Okay? I, I need a little help here. Alright. Let's see. Dead body... Don't mind if I do. I will absolutely take that dead body's money. I'm not above it. Over here? There we go. Oh, God. It's spooky dark in here. What's that sound? There we go. Uh, okay. Big beam? Uh... Did that open it up? Okay, cool. Alright, we'll have to spawn another candlelight soon, but for now we're doing okay. Oh shit, it's these little fellas. Here, you guys, um... Ladies, you handle that. Oh gosh, the ladies are doing damage! <laughs> Time to start a Resonance Cascade! It does sound like res- It does give me Resonance Cascade vibes, 100%. Okay, um... Another one. Wish we could make a golden boner, bro. The golden boner. The boner of all boners. The boner overlord. What's in here? Oh, is this where I'm supposed to go? Oh, I guess. Uh, ladies. Is someone there? Ladies, I have I have bitches for you to pummel. Thank you. Okay, I'm just gonna look ahead. I'm scouting ahead while y'all do your thing. See, there's the laser. Wasn't sure if this was the right way at first, honestly. We're almost there, though, it looks like. You guys doing okay? Yeah, you guys are fine. You guys are fine. Listen, Lydia's fine on her own. I'm more worried about my boners than I'm worried about Lydia. I'll be real with you. Okay. Uh, we have most of this already. I only really want the gold. I guess that was just, uh, some goodies. Don't get me wrong, I love goodies, but I was kind of expecting more from that. But that's okay. Uh, what? Oh, I thought it was something cooler, but it was just a candlestick. Okay. So there's... Hmm. That just leads us to loot. I'm not sure how I feel about that sound. <laughs> Gonna be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Here we go. Okay. Over here... I guess this needs to hit that. That's right, don't I uh, wiggle this one around? Wiggle. Mm. No. Hmm. I need something to hit that one. Isn't it like, uh, do I, like, do magic on it or something? I don't quite remember. Yeah, because that's what I thought I had to do, is I had to get them to connect. Okay, let's see. Um, maybe I'm misremembering? I 
Yeah, because that's, that's done. Is there any other pedestals over here? Anything else that I'm missing? Am I able to move these ones? Like... That didn't move it, did it? No. No. Hmm. Because this just leads to a different end of it, right? Yeah, this is just a dead end. Or at least you get the loot and then it's a dead end. I definitely should remember how to do this, but alas. <laughs> but alas. Um, can I head up there? Let's see. Activate this one or anything, right? No. Hmm. You guys remember? Because I dead ass am having a brain fart. I'd like to get up there to look, but I'm not sure if I can. That's not what I wanted. I wanted candlelight. Um. Let's see. I'm wondering if I missed something back here. Yeah, because that opened that door, but that was like it. Hmm. Yeah, it needs to touch that ball. I don't know how to get up there. Let's head back over here real quick. Maybe I'm missing something over here. You can see that. Um. Hmm. Is it really just a loot chest over here? Aha! I'm dumb. <laughs> I wrote that off as a dead end way too early. <laughs> you have a death wish? I guess he did. I mean, he's already dead, but yeah. It's okay to bully dead people. Only sometimes. <laughs> All right, let's climb over here. Is there more of them? Yeah, okay. You guys handle that. Oh. And that's now open. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, you guys handle that. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm sure they're fine. <laughs> I'm sure they're cool. They're, they'll be Gas fine. Oh, Lord, well, thank you so much boss. for the follow. You know, Gas Light Geek and Girl Boss. Welcome to the stream. Alright, we're... Yeah, it's a little trippy. We are guiding Meridia's light through her temple. And boy, howdy. If this stream has told me anything, it reminds me that I am bad at directions. <laughs> okay, let me grab... Can I get this? I have no points in lock picking. Every single fucking playthrough, I never put any points in light in lock picking. But do I try? Do I try my darndest every time? Yeah, I do. Okay. Ooh. Let's fucking go. That's why you always need to try. And we got a funky new gem. Okay. That's why you always try. Okay. We got a funky new rock to put in our museum. Yippee. All right. Back inside. Let's see what's up first try oh yeah definitely just my first try definitely just my first try 100 percent, 100 percent. eb games never loses <laughs> okay uh any good stuff in there no oh there's some friends here hello friends all right you guys handle the friends once again you guys do all the fighting i will be hot and press buttons perfect um there it is is there potions over there hell yeah I don't think there's anything else I need to do over there, but might eat my words later with that once I, uh, ooh, hello, good sir. Um, here. Guys, there's a person. <laughs> I need an adult. Um, yeah, because that's the thing is, like, I have Necroplague and Welling Blood, but these are shadows. I don't know if it'll work on them. Yeah, see, it resists it. Well, that's 
That's the thing is, Necroplank sounded really cool, but everything fucking has resistance towards it, which is like, ah. Ah. Okay. Um. Hmm. Something else we gotta keep the lookout for. Ooh. There we go. Something else we need to keep a lookout for, by the way. Um, wrong button. That I forgot about. Quarried stone. If we want to make our replica of the dragon stone, we need stone. So I need to find quarried stone. Huh? You good? Oh. Oh. Uh, um. I, I'm so sorry. Anyway. Um. <laughs> whoopsie! Didn't know what that lever did. This is why I shouldn't press buttons without thinking. But that's okay. Um. Here, you guys. Wait, climb up. How do I climb up that? Oh shit! Okay! Fuck yeah! Alright, parkour, baby! Fuck that dead body! Get out of here! Oh wait, I had $80. Okay, I got the $80. Okay, this still needs to be... Hmm, they're still not all connected quite yet. I don't think I got this one propped up. Gaslight what about keep oh, girl so boss. Oh, thank you so much for the follow. You're not gaslight geek and girl boss. Welcome to the street. Oh boy. Um, did that door open now? What? Ah! I know how to do parkour. I know how to do parkour. I'm not a dumb fool. Press X to doubt. Okay. Um. God, she is really close to that laser. <laughs> Let's see. I'm wondering. There we go. Which ones am I missing? Or is that all of them? I think we might have gotten them. Uh, <laughs> let's see. We'll run through here real quick. So that'll give us a good look. See here. Let me get my candle light out because I can't see fucking anything. Yeah, that's where we came from. Um, I think we might be good to go. Yeah, because there was a door, but... I think we're... Whoops. Accidentally did that. Okay. Um, I think we might be... What? Okay, we're good. <laughs> I think I accidentally impaled myself on the light. But, you know, it happens. Alright. Into the catacombs! Let's see if we can find this guy and simp so hard for Meridia we kill a man. <laughs> like I said, all good night, Jingle! Thank you so much for hanging out, gamer, and for the clips. I really appreciate it. I hope you have... A wonderful night and start of your week. Thanks for hanging, gamer. But yeah, um, I'm not so much of a simp I'm going to follow Meridia, but I will do anything else she asks. Like, her whole thing is she doesn't like the undead. And I fuck with the undead. That's kind of my whole shtick. So I don't know what she wants from me if I can't do my whole thing. I'm going to have to, like, get a new job and everything. But I will do... I, I just want the cool weapon. I just want to put it in my museum. Oh, hey, um gonna do that preemptively and you know i probably should quick save before i spawned in my hot ladies but that's okay and you know what let's um what do my new spells do again i do want to read over those real quick because i have welling blood here we go this is the one i want all right looks like it's doing okay will you okay welling blood work oh shit i forgot about these things okay um whoa did he one-shot me? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no. No, no, I'm not accepting that. Uh-uh, uh-uh. We are reloading. We are. What? <laughs> it didn't even put me in like a fucking... <laughs> it didn't even put me in like an inn or some shit. It was just like, nope. No, girl. Loading screen. <laughs> God damn, okay. Alrighty then. Okay. Alright, let's give this another go. And we're just gonna have to be really careful. Um, so here we go. Healing hands, welling blood. Yeah. Oh my god! Did you see that? Holy fuck! Does it do it again? Does that just outright kill? Oh. <laughs> Okay, hopefully I did not accidentally start a death loop. Um, third time's a charm. <laughs> uh, third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta work fast. We gotta work fast. We gotta work fast. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Did 
Nope, 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 Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, we're going, we're gonna slide to the left this time and see if that helps, okay. And we're also gonna do, actually, we're just gonna run away. Um, yeah, okay. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna chug. Do we have any potion? No. Resist magic. Sure, okay. How, okay, that's the distance it has. Um, okay. Here's what we need. We're gonna need to help Lydia. Lydia is, okay, where is Healing Hands Conjure? Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, that was close. I'm hoping that my ladies could at least clear the pathway. I have no idea where Lydia is. And you know, in hindsight, going down this narrow ass hallway, I need to heal. Do I have potions of... No. Okay. I, I can't see Lydia. That's the thing. Is I don't want to... I don't want to go in. Okay, there she's going. Okay, she's all the way up. Okay. Repositioning! Okay. It's 60 or more health. And then I think he dies. Okay. Shit, I missed you get poisoned? Are you prepared to die? I think so. Okay. Thank you. There you go, lady. You won't get the best of me. No, don't heal yourself. I am sorry. Oh god damn it, there's a part two! There's a sequel! Okay. You okay? You okay? It is done. The defiler Jesus is defeated. Christ, quick save. Take Dawnbreaker from its pedestal. Gaslight. Oh my god. Girl boss. Black Peppy, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. You're not guessing Giggy Girl Boss. Holy shit. We have a lot of new stuff now, so that's cool. Uh, but he didn't leave his skull for me to take. So if you win some, you lose some. So let's see. Blood gift we already have. Conjure haunt drinks. Conjure marksman. Okay. Um, well now we just have spells for boners. Here, I want to loot all these dead bodies because these dead bodies kind of have a lot of money. And you know, I like money. <laughs> I don't like dead bodies, but boy do I like money. Okay, let's do that. Uh, bam, bam, bam. You got anything? You got anything? 25, 60. It all adds up, guys. It all adds up. Oh, what's this? Nordic excavation site. Yeah, let me dig. Okay, dig for some shit real quick. Um, oh yeah, I didn't check that last time we were at the safe houses if we could make anything with our um, with our artifacts, with our uh, fragments. I forgot about that. Okay. All right. Let's see. We will get the thing. Woo! Find it by the light. Okay. Is she gonna pick me up again? Is 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 Meredith gonna put me up again or Meridia? <laughs> I keep wanting to say Merida, like the girl from Brave. <laughs> okay. Oh, God damn it! she picked me up again. Pick me up. Put me down. Malkarin is vanquished. Skyrim's dead shall remain at rest. No, oh, oh, not, not this one. <laughs> as not as soon as you put me down. <laughs> this is because of you. You're welcome. A new day is dawning, and you shall be its herald. Okay. Take the mighty Dawnbreaker, and with it purge corruption. No, I want to put it on display for kids to look at at a museum. <laughs> it in my I'm not gonna touch it. I'm gonna. <laughs> it's gonna make me money. It's kind of funny you do Meridia. That's the thing. Is like, like, listen, listen. I'll, I just want the sword, okay? I'm not gonna be your champion. I'm not gonna follow you or anything, cause that's like my entire thing is dead people but like I'll, I'll help you out you know just for once yeah i'll keep your sword but find someone else to spread your religion it matters not yeah yeah okay the we're on the same ground that's the thing is like vanya's a bold ass bitch she absolutely will be like yeah no i'm not spreading your religion while she's fucking so seven billion feet in the air and she could drop her and crack her on the ground like an egg 
Whee! Gently! Gently! Put me down gently! Thank you. Okay. Alright. And besides, she has fat tits and thick thighs. Of course I'm gonna fucking help her. Uh, <laughs> that's not my character. That's just me. Alright. Um, let's see. So we have... I want to see what it looks like. Oh. Ooh. Cool. All right. I didn't intend on doing her quest today. Um, but here we are. <laughs> so we take that. Uh, did you want the statues to be sexy statues? So, um, it's included in the mod pack. Could I disable it? Yes. Will I? No. <laughs> A wise man once said, we take those. <laughs> if only the sword wasn't weak. That's the thing is I'm not going to fucking use it. But like... It'll be a cool museum display, you know. Okay. I do think we are going to call it here for tonight. Uh, just because I do have to get ready for school. And I do have school in the morning. Which, by the way, I only have three weeks of school left. Um, I think not this week, but next week I get to tell the kids that I'm quitting. Um, which I'm a little nervous about. I'm gonna be honest. Um, headless skeleton fighter. Damn, okay. Uh, where is Lydia? Good question. Where the fuck is Lydia? <laughs> Great question. Um... But I only have three weeks of school left, so I just gotta get through those. Um, but I do still need to go to school and be vaguely on time for now. And I'm still kind of sick. Uh, what happens if a teacher quits mid-school year? <laughs> Great question. <laughs> so, in some districts, what happens... And I'll start walking our way to Wolf Skull Cave while I explain this. So, normally, when you are a teacher, you sign a contract. Um, saying that you are gonna be there the whole year. Uh, and I thought I could handle one more year of, um, teaching. Three mental breakdowns later, I realized I could not. <laughs> um, I am going to let them all have a party my last week. I am going to bring in donuts and stuff like that um, from Dunkin' for them. Um, but basically, what happens is um, some states will take your teacher's license away. Um, and they will restrict you from teaching in any other part of the state um, or any other counties for a year. Which, considering we're in a really drastic teacher shortage, is kind of a stupid move. Others places will make you pay a fine of up to thousands of dollars. <laughs> um, but for me, however, my district had three ways out. One, medical reasons. Two, uh, new uh, employment opportunities where I'd be making more money there than teaching. And three, uh, moving. Well, I'm not moving. Um, could I probably get, um, medical clearance to leave teaching because of all the <laughs> mental stress it has caused me? Probably, but I, I don't know. I'm one of those people, I don't like, I don't want the school to know my medical history like that. That's just me, pers like, personally. Not everyone feels that way, but that's how I feel. Like, I don't want, I don't want them to, to know me like that. Oh my god, you are a drug or death lord. Holy shit. Um... <laughs> So, the route I took is I ended up doing the math, and, um, oh shit, I am dying. Um, I did the math, and basically, to, um, if I were to full-time teach VTubers and run my business, um, yeah, that, exactly. My last school, my first school, had a big, big moment when they found out I was autistic. That, we don't want that again. I don't need them to know that school gave me trauma and then get bullied for having trauma in the place that caused me trauma <laughs> holy shit this wolf skull cave is nutty by the way um but basically uh you mean they didn't know they were hiring an autist with adhd nope i do not declare my um i don't declare my disability um because like they'll say like oh yeah we're not gonna discriminate no they fucking will <laughs> <laughs> they absolutely do. And it's one of those things where it's like, I didn't plan on asking for accommodations or anything like that. Um, but I didn't plan on them disclosing my disability to the whole school and having staff and students bully me for it. They didn't tell me they were going to do that. Because <laughs> that was, that shit was wild, if you remember that. Uh, TLDR, basically... Um, disclosed my disability because they were doing an autism acceptance week and I literally was just like, yeah, I'm willing to like help out and like oversee things, you know, make sure everything's accurate. There's a lot of, you know, mis, um, mis, like representations and misconsumptions. I, I, um, I don't know what the word is for that. 
Um, and uh, that was all I wanted to do. <laughs> and then they made me go in front of the entire school and talk about my disability, which was horrifying. And now that I know, um, illegal. Yeah, they can't do that. They weren't supposed to do that. But I didn't know at the time because I was a new teacher. And frankly, um, my admin was really scary. Um, I was like deathly afraid of them. They yelled and like screamed at me a lot. And pretty much like, there was a lot of like gaslighting and shit. But yeah, TLDR, do not tell your employer about your disabilities <laughs> unless you absolutely have to. Um, you think your employer is your friend. They are not. HR is not your friend. Do I just jump down here? Yeah, okay. Um, but basically, I ended up doing the math and for me to teach from home and to run my VTuber music lessons business full time, did the math, uh, I will be getting a significant pay raise <laughs> by teaching VTubers. Um, and I'm very excited about that. So because, uh, yeah, HR is not your friend. They work for your employer. They don't work for you. Uh, I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> they do not work for you. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> Queen. What the fuck did I walk in on? Um, but yeah, so basically because I am technically accepting a job uh, with higher pay, uh, they are not suspending my license, I'm not getting sued, and I got really lucky in the sense that I kind of just get to go freely. Um, that is not normal, usually. Usually districts will fight you um, because we're in such a teacher shortage. Um, I've heard of a lot of people having to pay around $10,000 to break their contract. Um, this is a Patema quest, part of the Solitude quest. Oh, interesting. Oh yeah, that's why I, I didn't know it was part of Patema, but I did get get it from um, What's Her Face. Um, but yeah, a lot of people have paid like thousands of dollars to break their contracts. I'm very lucky in the sense that I kind of got to just go. Um, because it got to a point where it's like, I started having really bad like nightmares um, that I used to have when I was in my first year of teaching, which was like, really bad not gonna get too into it because i don't want to bring the mood down um but it was real bad um and my mental health got to a point that it was very much similar to my first year of teaching and it just like got to a point where it's like okay girl you cannot do this anymore <laughs> you need to put yourself first and i'm the type of person where i don't really do that it's part of why i became a teacher um you kind of have to not put yourself first as a teacher and i don't put myself first um, anywhere. Um, yeah, I had a lot of trauma from school. I had a lot of instances of, like, um, physical violence, um, sexual threats, um, gun violence. Um, yeah, we had a lot of stuff that was really bad at the school I worked at. Um, and I'm glad to be out of there now, because it was really bad. And even though I'm not at that school anymore, I think for me... Um, so much of my trauma, even before I became a teacher, was at a public school, and I became a public school teacher because I wanted to, like, I don't know, I wanted to make a difference in the world, you know? Um, but I realized that was a bad idea. <laughs> so I think I need to just be out of a school for a while. I don't really, honestly, I don't have any desire to go back to the classroom if, you know, teaching VTubers and stuff like that, teaching online doesn't work out. I'm probably just gonna find a different job outside of the classroom. I'm qualified in a lot of different things. Um, you know, I still have a degree. I still have six years of teaching and running, I've been running my own business for three years now. Um, so I'm qualified to do other stuff. It's just, for me, public school. Yes, being yes. in a school. Return me to the realm. for me. Yeah. And I don't wanna get too As into I it, cause again, I don't wanna bum people out. Cause I like my students to be silly, but TLDR. Uh, there's a reason lots of teachers are quitting right now. <laughs> it's, it's not doing, what? not doing so do high, you but, you know. You cannot bind me to your will. Well, I guess we're gonna finish this quest now. <laughs> uh, need to change from administration. That's the thing is, sometimes even administration can't do much. A lot of times it comes down to, like, the board of ed and stuff like that. And Only a fool lets himself get around. Only so much we can do there, which sucks. And it's one of those things, too, where it's like, it's not even just about the money. Like, our district wasn't one that got paid super poorly. Not super well, but, like, no teacher gets paid well. But it wasn't, like, that bad, quote-unquote. But it's one of those things where it's like, for the amount of, like, stress it was causing me, it was not worth it, you know? 
am I going to be slightly a little bit more financially unstable because I'm now technically a full-time freelancer? Yeah, but I've done a lot of saving up. I have an emergency fund, you know, because I always know, like, for example, for December, I knew I was going to have a lot of cancellations this month because people are traveling and I want to take time off for the holidays, you know? So I kind of budgeted and I'm doing some extra work now so that way I can take that time off and, you know, not lose money, be able to still pay myself the same um, without having to be, like, uh, giving a pay cut, you know? So it's all about prioritizing and saving. Take advantage of the, like, that's my advice for anyone who wants to be a full-time, like, freelancer. Um, take advantage of the months that are good, um, but know that not every month is going to be good. You're going to have good months, you're going to have bad months, but save up your money from the good months so you're ready for the bad months. But yeah, that was my choice, is I'm going to, like, I never have put myself first, ever. All of my time and dedication goes to other projects um, and things that aren't really related towards and like don't get me wrong i love it it's my job but all i do is help people and i don't really do anything for myself and i think that's why i'm like putting so much time and care into stuff like my original song my you know my debuts for my 3d model my skyrim model and that's why they're taking so long is i want them to be good you know um and even stuff like um you know my book and stuff like that. It's something where it's like, I want, I don't, I don't know how to phrase this. I don't think I've found the chest yet. I'll have to go back and find it. Um, but like, it's one of those things where it's like, I don't get to do stuff for myself super often. And this is like streaming, you know? A lot of people ask me, they're like, oh, why don't you do like music education stuff with your stream? And it's like, this is my, I feel like with VTubing, I am now known for, helping others and working with others which is fine i'm really grateful for that but i'm not really known for my own content and my own stuff um and you know again that's just kind of the way that it is that's fine but that's why i'm really excited i'm kind of hyping up stuff like my book or debut or stuff like that because this is like the first time in a while i'll get to do stuff for me you know what i mean i don't know if that makes sense hi fiyuka welcome in gamer we're gonna head up this way, I think, instead of the other way. I think I got confused. And I think I know what chest you're talking about. I think it's up there. So let's see if we can head up there. And see, it's on the other side of the drawbridge. Oh, okay, all right. So let's head up there and see what the heck is up. But yeah, I'm excited to do more things for myself. I think 2024 is gonna be a really good year. Um, I know a lot of the stuff I've been working on has been taking a really long time, but that's because I want it to be like a banger. You know, I want it to be, and a lot of people have beef with debut culture in VTubing, and I totally get that, you know. Um, but I didn't have a big debut when I first started streaming with this model. I literally was like, hey guys, look at this! <laughs> and started using it. Um, so I don't know if it sounds like selfish, but I think it's okay to be a little selfish sometimes. I kind of want to, I've been working really hard and I want to have, I want to have my moment, you know? So this is going to be an opportunity for me to have my moment, you know? So that's my goal. That's my my idea. Have a moment for me and celebrate my hard work. It's my sweet 16, essentially, yeah. My sweet uh, 23. <laughs> are you guys gonna do something? Lydia, are you gonna do something? Thank you. Oh my God. Get up, girly. I made up tissue paper. You need to thank for me. Okay, thank you. Okay, all right, here we go. All right, you good, girl? You good? You You're good. Okay. To. All right. Death awaits you. Get in there, Lydia. Get in there. I, I don't have any skills. I am literally made of tissue paper. I don't have damage. <laughs> I need you to do shit. Come on, hit him. Hit him. Oh, shit. Okay. All right, that works. All right. Something is wrong. There is an intruder. Hi. It's me. I'm the intruder. Okay. I'm looking for a chest. I'm also gonna save because I've been doing some some silly moves. <laughs> I've been a little too silly. Here, have some women. Did you like some women? Oh shit. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna back off real quick. Let's try this. Welling blood. Let's see if we can get this to work. Oh shit. I'm trying to. Oh, God, how does it even work? Hmm. I need 
to read it, because I, I got a shit ton of new spells, and I don't know how any of them work. The target loses at least 60% of its mass, maximum health within 8 seconds, it dies. Okay. Oh, shit. Alright, where, where are my homies? Lydia! Okay, that's one. Okay. Get her ass! That's the wrong one. God damn it. It's okay. Oh, hey. Okay. Oh, are you the ritual master? Oh, she is just swinging. Okay, um... Yeah, you're the ritual master. Oh my god, lovely to meet you. Um... You come here. There we go. Thank you, Lydia. Alright, now get this guy. Okay. Are you prepared to die? Uh, yeah. That's all the ritual master had? Although I guess all the goodies are in the chest up here. I yield, I yield. Oh, shit. I shall not be bound. Here. Get out of here! We'll lead him to Lydia. I just want to look inside the chest! Okay, the refugees. Take that. Uh, necromancer's ritual. Sure. Okay, Lydia, why are you not killing her? Oh my god. The chest isn't up here? Oh, right. Drawbridge. Drawbridge. Okay. Here we go. Put that down. Perfect. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. All right, what's in here? Ooh, a painting? Oh. It's not... Uh... Down here? Oh. Well... Okay, then. Alrighty. <laughs> I thought we got something fun, but that's okay. That's okay. And we can always come back for it, if I recall correctly. I really thought there was, like, other cooler shit in here, but I guess I'm wrong. I'm gonna check. Maybe the main summoner dropped it? Yeah, let's loot some bodies and see if they're... Uh, let's see. Nope. And over here. Oh, no, you don't. Yeah, there's the ritual master, and she didn't have but jack shit. Fuck all. Okay. Um, wrong button. Where's my candlelight? There we go. Hmm, I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. I did kill a lot of people. Yeah, I really thought someone with a title like Ritual Master would have a lot more, a lot more junk. Uh, resist fire. I thought there was another one up here, but I guess not. Here we go. Uh, nope. Um, huh. Well, okay. Well, that's all right. All right. Now for realsies, <laughs> we're going to call it. So, gamers, Lydia, you good? Oh. Lydia, what? You won't get the best of me. Okay. Um, we'll explore. You'll pay for that. No. Um. <laughs> Wee! We'll, uh, see if she Death has it. Awaits you. Come on, Lydia, hit her. Hit her. Hit her! Yeah, we looted the Ritual Master. She didn't have it. Unless I grabbed it already. Bloodworm Helm. Did I have that? No, it's not in here. Double check. Yeah, because I know what you're talking about, but she didn't have it. Come on, hit her! Hit her! Lydia, you dumb... Oh my god, fine. I'll do it myself. Okay. What good are you? Uh, uh, okay. Thank you, Kilkim. Very cool. And she slid off into the abyss. Great. <laughs> wow. Huh. We might just manually add it anyway, because we did kill the ritual master. Like, I know we killed everybody, so I don't know why we don't have it. Because we, sh we should have it. It does fit my lore. That's why I want it, bro. But we don't have it. Which is so cringe. I know. It's so rude. All right. Now we're going to end the stream for reals. Because <laughs> I do need to get ready for work tomorrow. But gamers, let me go back to my, my thingy. Wait. Okay. There we go. Gamers, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the original song preview. If you saw it at the end of the stream. Um, sorry, I got a little info dumpy <laughs> at the end there. Um, but yeah, let's see who we're going to raid. Um, but yes, I do have a uh, stream this.
Discord if you yes, are like interested. Fluffy Nemesis, thank boss. you so much for the stream. Or wait, I'm the stream. Fuck. <laughs> thank you so much for the follow. You know, guys, I can't keep growing up. Um, I also have a TikTok and a I almost did Twitch and a YouTube where I post all my boss. God, I don't fucking miss today. Um, there's something else. Oh yeah, and if you want to see my mod list, there's a link to that too. So let's see who we're gonna raid. Uh, we're gonna raid. Uh, we're gonna raid Milk. Milk is playing Fortnite. Um, also, if you are in the Discord and you saw my pattern room meme, or if you saw it on TikTok or Twitter, uh, Milk is the person who drew my pattern room, and she is playing Fortnite. <laughs> so we're gonna give her some love. What is our raid message going to be? Um, what is our raid message gonna be? Fuck! I didn't think we'd get this far. <laughs> Uh, let's just do, if you have this emote, please spam this emote, because I love that emote. Um, and if not, just do, let's do surprise EV raid. EV raid. There we go. And if you have a gun, gun. Yeah, just like that. Gun. <laughs> All right, gamers, I will see you on Wednesday for some more cyberpunk. I hope you have a wonderful start to your week, and thank you again for hanging out and watching me and supporting me. I really, really appreciate it. Okay. Bye-bye.